morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, hope you are all having a, a good day today. It's a little yep. dreary here, but you know. Well, outside it is, but it's real warm here in our Lego room. We're super psyched. We're on the edge of our seats for today. Yeah, so um, we'll we'll dive into it real quick here. Uh, but real quick, we wanted to, so you can see we're sort of streaming a different way today so yep. that's why we don't have our regular graphics and animations and stuff but it's a special edition so bonus round bonus round so but we're still going to do our pin of the day and since it's a oh, different we thing we're not going to do disney pins today not we're do today something else what have you got Richard? well today i have this um lego astronaut a green astronaut which is my favorite of the astronauts and I've got um, I've got my uh, my Brago from Sam's Brago, yeah, from Sam's Brago. My bat, which was a a callback to our uh, Spooky Town uh, yep. that we did for Lego Masters, and he made this was the bat on the top of our haunted house. Who is for anyone who doesn't know, who is Sam's Brago? Oh, Corey, sorry, Corey of Travis and That's Corey, who Corey will from be Lego here. Masters. Um, yeah, in a little bit. So pretty oh, cool. Oh, look at all the people we have with us. I know. I just want to give, um, gosh, I have to take my glasses off for this one. Hey, uh, hey, Johnny, how's it going? Johnny Katz uh, here. Thomas Moto. Howard's here. Moto. Uh, Jennifer Reynolds is here. Jennifer. Michelle Hainline. Light Dragon. Baked Bacon. Sean Levin. Uh, Thomas Shane Howard. Levin. Shane Levin, sorry. Uh, Jetty Bear is here. If you haven't seen Jetty Bear's amazing... Um, uh, Funko Pop images. Oh, wow. You need to so see fun. them. Uh, Wilfred L is here. Joshua Steele. I am trash. Chris Barron is here. Hey, Chris. How's hey, it going? Chris. Uh, Dave Morgan. Thank you uh, uh, for uh, moderating today. We appreciate that. Uh, Mark is here. Hi, Mark Dave Crookshank Morgan. is here. Now, I, he's going to try and call in, but he's been having some trouble. But we're we'll going to We're going to try. We can make Fingers it happen, crossed. everybody. And yeah, sorry for we didn't have our cute little intro music but we can't do that with the program we're streaming with today so and our mic is on and our mic is on how about that <laughs> and somebody help me out figure out how to make that mic come on well I know, good i don't so i don't want to uh i don't want to put things off too much longer i want to get started on our um things so we've got our first uh our first guest is waiting in the green room oh been that's waiting so, so exciting patiently. and um i think we're gonna add him in everybody say hi to Boone. Hello. Hi Boone. We can't hear you. Trigger Hi Boone. You can't you can't hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Oh great. I just wasn't talking when I first joined. Oh, okay. I thought maybe so, you were doing your frozen trick again. Oh no. Uh no, I wasn't <laughs> intending wasn't oh, intending no. to do that. Hey, this Whoa. looks great. Um, thanks. Yeah, this is fun. We got lots of folks out here. And oh, okay, everybody, we have another guest entering. I'm wow. super excited. We haven't seen her on a lot of, of the streams recently. Everybody, it is Amy is here. Oh my goodness, Amy. Hi. Hi, how are y'all? I you miss you. Good. How are good. you doing? Are y'all surviving? We are, yeah. We're a little stir crazy, but we've been spending at least like an hour and a half of every day here, so we're yeah. getting a lot of Lego building in. Mm. Just every day normal. That's what how about sense. you? I've been working as well. I hear you've been working. Yeah, yeah, I've been working a lot. Right. Well, I'm glad you have time off right now. Yes, I'm so glad you're able to join us today. Mm, That's good. so great. Yay! So, um, yeah, so the people have been here. Um, coming here now for i think we're at 22 yeah we're at 22 um live streams in a row so we thought we would celebrate 22 by doing <laughs> <laughs> you guys are with you guys are lives. machines you're machines we're yeah. it's, it's all good. your fault it's, you know it's good for us and it's definitely you have been an enabler for us you, <laughs> you helped went out so much with technology and and your show is inspiring too yeah it was pretty great and i see we got somebody in the waiting room too but he doesn't have his devices connected right now so if he can hear me you need to turn your camera and mic on uh, oh, Ooh, it's a mystery. Yeah, I know, very it's, 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 it is a mystery. We've been trying to, yeah, let's do, uh, there we go. You can see a little more room. of our ceiling. 
Um, hey, have you seen all those people on Twitter posting like the physics stuff with the? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. crazy. Yep. That's I didn't know so that was cool. on Instagram, but I've seen it everywhere on Twitter. Have okay, the first it? time, the first time I saw it, I totally thought it was a camera trick because yeah. my my head my head just couldn't I couldn't wrap my head around it. But then the second time I saw it, and it was someone else, I was like, okay, Whoa. okay, I think I get it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I, I need to find some chains and. I, and try I know. It. I have some. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. We have some too. We should try. We should do that. Okay. Tomorrow. Um, yeah. we should do that at some point. That'd be fun. I don't know. I know. I think. Um, did J.K. Brickworks? Um, did they post instructions for that? I don't know. I thought they did it, and I wasn't sure if they posted the instructions uh, for that or not. So. Uh, let's see. Look at all the people we have. Wow, here. Like so many people here today. That's great. Wow, welcome on everyone. A, on all a the Sunday new people. morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. Oh, we're looking a little. Um, <laughs> it looks like it looks like JK Brickworks has a uh like a video tutorial. Got it. Okay, video tutorial. That's good. Yes. Well, I definitely want to try that. I think that would be uh. That would be a fun project. And we definitely have those chains. We hoard chains. Yeah, we have lots. <laughs> we ended up with lots of them somehow. It's one of those, it's one of those things that we get a lot. Oh, all right, everybody. We have a special guest who is, I know, being very careful uh, uh, while he's joining us. We have who is it? Corey is here. Hey Corey. Hey Corey. What's up, y'all? Uh, Corey is uh, has been out um, helping uh, people in his community, and we thank him so much for doing that and joining in. And I know he's being super careful while driving and streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gay Lego dads, I had to give you the I had to give you the the, the Lego dad speech. <laughs> well, it's so nice to see you. It looks like the sun's shining where you are. Uh, yeah, finally. Um... It was it was looking uh, doom and gloom for the last like week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It was been it's been sunny here, but it's gotten dreary again. Uh, but you know. Well, how great that we could all be here today, and thank you all for coming and and joining. So, what are people what are people working on right now? What's everybody doing? Hopefully, Corey is working on the road. What was that, Amy? Hopefully, Corey is paying attention to the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. My, my eyes are on the road. I'm super careful. But to answer your question, uh, Glenn, uh -oh. I can show you the back seat. Oh. So I'm doing my first, I'm doing my first commission project. Um, my, uh, is for one of my former students. His birthday is coming up. Yeah, and his mother wanted me to build him, uh, build him a mock for his birthday. So we just met up. She she gave me a whole bunch of Lego to to kind of skim through to see what I can use, and then order the rest of the pieces to make it. So what I'm doing, I'm making the uh, Avengers headquarters from Endgame. Oh, uh, so I'm going to be building that for him. Yeah, yeah so, so cool. I'm going to so take a look at what he has. What's yeah, I'm, 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 ex I'm super excited. Very nice. Well, so it's like you're going to a yeah, brick I can, I can <laughs> yeah. like I'm, I'm inside my car. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I did that today too. I was in the car and was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. It's like you're going to a brick pit of yeah. the person who you're making this amazing piece for. <laughs> Mask is Sorry, say again. I didn't hear you. I said it's like you're going to the brick pit of the person you're making this piece for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Corey, I'm wearing uh, uh, I'm wearing my pin today. My I'm wearing my Brago today. <laughs> we we had our we awesome. had our pin moment from our from, oh, yep. and Boone has disappeared. So Amy, what are you working on currently? I want to try to make that uh, that physics like little. Oh, the thing. physics thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you manage it uh, while we're here, you can. We'll have to. We have to show it off. Yeah, I'm trying to find <laughs> all my like chain pieces. 
that was one thing on the show that I liked. We had the the trans uh, chain pieces. Yeah, yeah those yeah, were that's, cool. That's what I'm doing. I'm just looking for my chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one chain. I'm so upset. <laughs> I can't do it. We have them. They're in one of these little drawers. I don't remember which one. Yeah, we have it. Now everybody's rushing for chains. Uh-oh. I know. I just, like I saw it. It's been going around and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Well, the first the first one I saw, it didn't yeah, use no. chains. It used it a string. Just, yeah, it was just I saw that one too and then I saw more and more people were making it because they thought it was the same thing. What? And I felt like I felt like once I saw it with chains, I was like, oh, okay, that's that's compelling to me because it's completely legit. Oh, I, got, I, I, heard, the... I heard one of your things for your comments that uh, your daughters swear that the Lego dots were packaged by Amy herself. I was yeah, like, they. Oh, yeah. That's what we all were telling her. That's adorable. That's <laughs> I've got a bunch of little. I've got a bunch of really short gold ones, and I don't think it's good enough. So you need one. It looks like you need one short gold one and two of the longer ones. Yeah, we definitely. We've definitely. Look, here we go. Yeah. Look. So taking the taking the strings out of it. Here's our chain collection. Oh, you guys are good. Wow. Yeah, I think we'll be anyway. we're doing all right. <laughs> We have a lot of things. I just don't, couldn't you do it? Let me look at um. I can send you. you the, do oh, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, so it's got to be one short one and two long ones. But I, I was thinking that, I was thinking you could do it with, with all short ones, depending on how you built like the the base but maybe that's not true maybe it... oh, like two of the smaller bases and one of the maybe i also boone i was about to send you a message on twitter and i see someone has made an account for y'all called mark and boone mark and booner fans mark and what boone fans there's like somebody has made y'all a twitter account <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's so cool all right, let's see if I can find my There we go. All right, well, I think we are going to, I don't know what we're working on today. Oh, we're working on taking apart some of the models we've been building on the live stream for the past month. We have so many things. <laughs> like We've got a whole like table full of models. Some of them are going to stay together. Um, but yeah, we need to, we need to address that. <laughs> and then, um, and then, so I put up a poll so we recently um, hit uh, a thousand subscribers on our channel, and thank you everybody so much for helping us get there. And just yesterday, they opened up our community page to us. Um, so now you can go to the community tab on our page and see stuff that we're going to post. And I posted our first ever poll about which set people wanted us to start building tomorrow. So we have the choice between the Sparkle and Shine Salon, the Lego Movie 2 Sparkle and Shine Salon, or the pop-up party bus. And, and right so now, far, yeah, right now the pop-up party bus is is really uh, out there. About 50 people have voted in the poll and it's like at 80% or so, 88% or something. Yeah, so, yeah. so it looks like pop-up party bus. Yeah, if you get a chance, uh, go over and vote in the poll for what we're, uh, which set we're gonna build tomorrow. I, you know, personally, I love that Sparkle and Shine Salon set. Looks so cool. Oh, it looks like we lost Corey. Um, but uh, it has all those cool, like transparent blue shield shaped tiles. Do you uh, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the shield, it's like a square with a triangle at the bottom of it. Like yeah, a shape. Exactly, exactly. Amy, your, your lighting for your camera is bright enough and even enough. It looks great that it makes the background of your room iris down and turn into like this cyber, like, you know, yeah. basement. Cyberpunk, yeah. Yeah, with all the outline of your TV and all that. Okay, so real quick, I just gonna um, I'm just gonna hop on here uh, and say hi to some people. Cyber Lair. Um, yes, in our in our Cyber Lair. So I just want to say hey to everybody for showing up. Um, uh, Paula Applegate, Thomas Howard is here. Mini Fig Chick, Jennifer Reynolds, Mini ET Fig videos. Chick. Uh, Thomas Howard is here. Let's see who else. Oh, Will Strobel is here. Hooray. Um, so just wanted to, um, Rob Ketcherside, um, 
Thomas Howard. Just wanted to say hi, Dave Morgan. Bricks Studio is here and says um, and says hi to Amy. Um, where do you see all of it? I'm this is in the, the, the chat. chat. If you go over to the right, there's a place where you can look at group chat. And uh, okay, I'm like, there's nothing in the okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It? Can you see this? <laughs> So Brick Studio oh, is saying cool. hello. Yeah, that's a cool thing about this um, this little program. You can sort of highlight different uh, different things. So that's cool. Um, oh, cool. Oh, Sadie said good. she got her first uh, hidden side set shrimp boat, and you love it so much. Yeah, oh, we nice. put together the shrimp boat cool. when we were doing Instagram streams, yeah. and it was a lot of fun. We and really then liked the shrimp that one a lot. shack as well. And the shrimp shack. So we got all the all the shrimp pieces. <laughs> Hey, Holly. Um, Holly just, did you say hi to Holly? Wait, where's Holly? Oh, no, I didn't where's see Holly. Holly, Holly is I here. Think, I think yeah, I think she just started watching. Uh, she oh, says hi, okay, guys. Holly, how's it going? Yeah, Holly is here. Congrats um, on uh, getting 10000 for the house. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, recently um, Holly hit 10K for her um, Coraline house on Lego Ideas. Yep. And I am, I am proud to say it happened uh, during our live stream. <laughs> we hit 10K. And it was what a great uh, what a great thing to happen, and we love Holly, and she's worked so hard on that, and it's such a fun model. Yeah, I, I think the thing that you know a lot of people always want to say like, oh, put something up on Lego Ideas. You should totally put something on Lego Ideas. I think people don't um, understand that when you put something on Lego Ideas, you gotta hustle. Like if you want people to vote on it, like you've gotta be present and be out there. And getting people and like actively getting people to vote, right? I I think uh, I think I came up with my the 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 Lego ideas idea that I have been most excited about last night. Oh yeah, What's and that? and I texted Mark. I can't tell you. What? <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> oh, I could tell. An idea you I, I, I could I could tell you, but I can't. I don't feel like I can make it public yet. No, I understand. You're talking about a Lego idea you want to build and put up. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh, uh, and I and I I texted Mark, and he seems excited about it. So I think Mark and I are going to collaborate, and it'll be it'll be uh, yes. it'll be, oh, it'll be both of our it'll be both of our first attempt at a Lego ideas project. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to no, derail you. No, that's, that's why awesome. you're here. Good yeah. luck. Hi. Okay, so, and speaking of, we actually, I got to figure out how to make this comment go away now, but um, we can talk to the gal herself, Holly. Hi. Holly's she is. Here. Hi. 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 Holly. How's it going? Good. And Thank so you, everyone. How, how do I get this thing back off again? My goodness. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the stream here. There we go. Ta da! Now we can all have a little bit more room. Oh, oh, look at that! And we've got somebody in the green room, everyone. Welcome to the chat. It's Sam. Sam's here. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hello. Hi, Hi, Holly. Sam. Hi, Amy. Hi, Boone. Hi, Richard and Flynn. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see some of you. I haven't seen some of you in so long. I haven't seen Amy in forever. I know. I know. Oh, I know. In Portland. <laughs> Well, Holly, it's so we couldn't be happier for you about the Coraline house. That's so I know you worked so hard not only building it, but since then too. It's just you must be so proud. Yeah, it's really that's it's what a great what a great goal. Yeah, it's a the, it's 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 a huge relief. It was like, yeah, it was kind of a slog getting getting to that final number. Uh, yeah. It came out of nowhere. So it was it was really exciting getting to do that with uh Flynn and Richard, like <laughs> what expected and well I'm glad we could be there when it when it happened. Yeah, when it rolled over. I, um I only wish I had been savvy enough with the program to know how to like get it up so everybody could have seen it, like the rolling over of the thing, but yeah. And so this is the start of a new adventure with this. Now now you would be working with Lego, right? Or what's the next step? Ah, uh, yeah. The next step is just waiting. I think I've got a um, I got all the the kind of official email from Lego that's like you have to sign a couple more things, and then I have to send them the instructions for it, or like yeah. you know, detailed photos or instructions I have. So it's a good thing that I that I have a digital design for it because that's yeah. all pretty much ready to go. I just have to update it with the with the basement because <laughs> I didn't design digitally first. 
Oh, okay. that's, so that's interesting. You talk about building digitally. That's actually a question we get a lot from people and maybe we can go around and people can answer, but um, do you build digitally ever um, when you're, when you're working on stuff? What's your, like, do you use, and do you use studio or? Oh, you uh, want me to go first? Digital designer. Yeah. Holly, yeah, why don't sure. you go first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I live digitally really. I mean, that's kind of my expertise is doing 3d modeling and design. So I'm very comfortable there, and I also like the uh, the technical challenge of of using the software um, as well. And I'm just more efficient. Well, once I got used to the program, and and as the software has developed, I've gotten much more efficient at like finding the parts that I that I need. And otherwise, like, and Boone and I have talked about this. It's like I sometimes I kind of lose that groove if I'm. <laughs> If I'm going, if I'm constantly like rummaging for parts and trying to find that like one part and it takes me too long, then I just kind of like, you know, I kind of lose that focus. So for me, that's part of the reason I like designing digitally. Plus it's, it's a lot more affordable, right? Like you don't have to have yeah. all the stuff on hand. Right. And then um, I use BrickLink Studio primarily because it, it does such a good job of interfacing with, with BrickLink's uh, online shop so you can make your wish list from your design and get all your parts and that way I'm not just yeah. hoarding parts even though I do that anyway <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> not right. just you know I know what parts I need so that's why I like doing digital but then I kind of go once I actually start putting bricks together it inevitably changes I, I decide that there's a much better way to do it once I start doing it physically sure we, we find when we're building designs from bricks we spend almost half of our time searching for bricks <laughs> yeah. That's the bummer part for me. Sorry about that. Sam, well, what about you? I know now you expressly don't use digital if I remember yeah, I, correctly. I have I have never used digital. It's like I'm uh I I quit my job making toys because I was tired of looking at the computer. So um I I'm like I don't want to look at a computer screen all day. I'm so sick of it. So um yeah, I, I, I've never used any of the digital designers. Um it probably would help me or I should hire someone to do it like for, for projects. Um, for even like when I'm, my Golden Girl set got to 10,000 votes and I had to send images to Lego and they, you know, they really want to be able to see all the pieces and the instructions and so they don't want to have to decipher it and reverse engineer it. That's a bunch of work for them. So I felt really bad. I'm like, I'll, I'll send you the whole thing. You can just take it apart or, and I had instructions like I, when I finish a model, I usually take it back apart two pieces at a time and I take a picture of it and take two pieces off, take a picture of it. So I have oh, instructions. No. I, so I have instructions. So then I just follow the pictures back where it's putting it back together. I'm like, Oh yeah, it worked. You know, like, so I, and so I make my instructions with photography, but um, yeah, that's, they, they really want it in the computers. So they have a parts list and all that kind of stuff. So I felt really, uh, sorry, <laughs> you know, like I did, I did um, they get a lot of on of digital instructions. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Well, and I, and I have to say, um, Sam, that's one well, of the I things that I really, anyways. That's one of the things I really admire about your work because there's, you know, there's a bunch of programs you can just feed a photograph into and it will spit out a mosaic of it for you to build. And the fact that you do it all from scratch and just from a visual, I think gives it um, a more more texture, more sort of like uh, and style, more personal. Oh, right. you. The touch of human thank hand you. like has a big is a big difference, I think, in that. Right. Thank you. That's um, very kind of you. Yeah. Uh, so Boone, what about you, digital? I I love both experiences. You know, I love to just go to even like a giant table full of totally random pieces and just dig through and just build something, right? Like I love that experience. Um, you know, in you my wear a long in, you dig. What's that? <laughs> you have like a like a plan when you like when you're digging. That's what I want to know. Oh, do I have a plan when I'm digging? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I just kind of tend to start at one end, but none of us are doing that now because all of those places have all that shut down. Yeah. Um. Right. But uh. But I. But that was the point of like that's one extreme. That's like completely unsorted brick, right? Like I. I enjoy. Um. I enjoy building from like, you know, the epitome of unsorted brick that's an enjoyable experience to me in my in my studio um you know i have a lot of stuff sorted i have a lot of stuff that's not sorted and i i don't often 
I don't often feel like I need one specific thing when I'm building. Um, I'm often mm -hmm. open to what are all the possible parts that could come next and which ones do I have at my disposal? Um, and then sort of at the very opposite end is, is, is building digitally, right? When you can find in a moment, you know, you can find in a moment exactly what part you need and you can make it be any color you want or any color that it has been produced in. Um, and, uh, and so those are kind of like two extreme ends of the, of the same experience. Right. And, um, and I love, like Holly said, I, there's something that I love about, you know, sitting at my computer and basically making something exist that did not exist before, you know, and, and digital, digital design and digital art is really kind of strange in that way. Right. That like, um, you can literally take an idea that only exists in your head and using this, you know, machine that's like a bunch of zeros and ones and some peripherals, <laughs> earn that idea into something that people can now see. And if you 3D print like Amy or if you Bricklink all your pieces, you know, because you're designing um, in, in, uh, in Bricklink Studio, then like, then you go one step further and you that thing actually becomes a physical thing that exists in the real world. And it's like blows my mind a little bit to think about it. Um, Amy, real quick, I've, I've been meaning to ask you, is that, is there, uh, is that on Thingiverse? Where do I get that? Okay. Yeah. Well, you got to yeah. see, this is great. So this is what's really interesting for the Lego digital designer. Those file formats, you can convert to an STL, which you can 3D print any of them. So you can, I can, <laughs> I made, it's a giant pink stud, so I can make like blasters. And I was okay. to make them all for you. Glenn and Richard, yours is purple. <laughs> oh my god, I want one so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm making them all for y'all. I'm trying to make different color studs. Oh, that's so great. Hey, can I can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um how how do I convert them? Ooh, in the uh, Lego Digital Designer. So if it if it's an FBX or an OBJ format, you can take the OBJ format and put it into like Fusion 360, a CAD program, and then yeah. convert just like export it as an either an STL or um a mesh. Cool. I can like if you have one, I can I can like show you the steps. That's really um, exciting. Yeah, I just all I all I need to know are like the the file extensions and sort of like the path. Um, and so I think like I I would have followed you there if like I had written down all the file extensions. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I have like a whole thing. I'll show you. I want to make actually like a giant drivable like Technic go kart Lego like. Like how oh, yeah. yes. oh, and then pull it up and 3D print each of the pieces so it can be like I don't same thing, it's like digital and then you can like create it in the real world. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool well world. when we can fly again, I'm coming down to help you and I'll you know, <laughs> I will, I'll Well so 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 when I was a kid, um when I was a kid I always thought that piece you were holding up was the megaphone. Oh my so it's really And it was like it was like when Star Wars came out, they sort of turned it around and put a you know, a, a stud on it and, and totally turn it into like, phone. so um, my, what I want to do with that is I want to actually put megaphone guts in it and run around with a giant Lego megaphone. <laughs> um, I printed them with no infill, so they're hollow. Yeah. So you could easily, like, easily right. just like, cut a hole. I don't know. That'd be really yep. cool. That's so I'm, cool. That, that's Amazing. awesome. Do you, awesome. have the, do you have the Steven Spielberg um, movie set, the one that was like with the dinosaur and it had like no. the little camera for the stop motion? That was one of my favorite ones. But he, they had that as like the the megaphone. Well, I I kind of think that's what it was originally, but yeah. maybe maybe yeah. it was in, maybe it was yeah. made as like a thing that wasn't really intended to be something specific, but looked like a lot of things. I don't know. Well, we put together the, one of those Lego Studio sets the other day, but it was the. Um, the monster ones, and there was a director guy that had the yeah. little microphone piece or yeah. megaphone piece as well. Yeah. Um, real quick, hey, I, I sorry, I just yep. let me let me wrap up my my answer to that real quick. Basically, oh, yeah. I love it all. I really, you know, um, I'm a I'm a video editor. I'm a I'm a graphic designer. So I love the digital interfaces for all kinds of things, and yeah. um, you know, so uh, and the the what is it the the antique fire engine that I had on the, uh, 
um, BrickLink AFOL design program, um, I never built it physically. I, I built a, uh. the model completely digitally and nobody, it, it wasn't assembled in real life until like, um, you know, I, I remember like Dave Shevsik and Kim Elika, uh, like building it during their test phase in Billund um, to try to decide which models were going to move forward. Uh, and that was the first wow. time anyone, so they built it, bef they built it physically before I did. Um, and I thought that was a very interesting experience. Okay, that's, okay. Kind of, Sorry. that's actually kind of crazy because the funny thing with, with what made the ADP thing, uh, BrickLink's ADP thing a little bit different from Lego Ideas, Lego Ideas is more of like proof of concept, right? Like you're basically just kind of giving Lego an idea to go with and then fans are just supposed to basically back it up and tell Lego, yeah, this would definitely be a good set to make. But then Lego takes it and completely does it, you know, according to kind of their own standards. Whereas yeah. the Brickling ADP was more of like a direct to consumer product where you were supposed to be able to like get your hands on the actual A Falls design directly without anybody else like having their take on it. So for me, I feel much more comfortable, even though I did build like the Coraline house physically, um, I would be mm. much more comfortable submitting like a digital design and having faith that Lego would be able to, you know, take it and do something like better with it. Whereas the yeah. ADP, I would, I would definitely like have to build it to make sure that it was like structurally intact and that, you know, I mean, I know they do a little bit of that too at BrickLink, but I just, for, for me, I would definitely have to build it knowing that that was going to be exactly for the most part, what people get. <laughs> so that's really yeah. funny that you, yeah. You know, that way. So yeah, quick, and I, I just wanted to say, I just answer this question real quick. Um, yes, after the um, after the stream is over, in the description of the video, I will put links to everybody who's here today and how to get a hold of their stuff. Um, I just wanted people to know that that would that would definitely happen. And also, we'll talk a little bit about where you can look for people on the interwebs. All right, you know, um, Boone, what you were saying about going from an idea in your head to something in the real world, I think, has this magical quality of design. And I do, in addition to what I do with Lego, I'm a theatrical lighting designer. So I make these CAD drawings of a theater and I'll make them on a you know 24 by 36 piece of paper or something like that. And then a crew puts it in and I get to walk around in it afterwards. And it's like magic, this idea that was just lines inside my head. And then you scale it up. And I think playing with those different scales in building Lego is so exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just I, I I love all that. I I think just the cre the creative process is so interesting to me and I mean it's almost I don't know. To me it's almost scientific, right? And it's like it's like science and magic at the same time to me, yeah. but <laughs> Yeah, cuz anyway. it requires math and the world is I have this idea of the smooth and I call it smooth bumpy theory of reality. In your head the design is very smooth and it's easy to get from A to B. But when you build it in the real world, plastic corners get in the way and there's, you know, the world, the bricks kind of tell you in some way what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Can I answer a question over here? Uh, yeah. yeah Rescue yeah. you says, Holly, are you concerned that Lego, no, is that the one? Oh, yeah, it is, actually. Are yeah. you concerned that Lego will chop your plan? Yeah, because I get that question a lot. People want to want to know like how I feel about you know how whatever Lego is going to do with it. In fact, I was asked that I think by Justin Ramsden too, like who is one of the a lot of people will know as a Lego designer. And when he first saw it, he kind of asked. I think his first question was like, "Would you be brokenhearted if we had to scale it down?" And that was the first time I had been, I think, asked. You know, or I really had to consider like how I would feel about Lego's uh, version of it. Um, Initially, my thought was, well, I have my own, so I don't really care what they do <laughs> for, you know, for the for the final product, because I have my own Coraline house the way that I envisioned it. So obviously, I'm happy with what I personally have. Um, but then as I thought about it, um, there are a few things that matter that matter to me. And the, the biggest one is that obviously they get kind of the overall iconic exterior right so that it's recognizable and that, it, you know, it, it the people know what it is when they first see it. So it's just kind of a first impression matters a lot to me. Um, and then the other one being um, that they get enough details in the interior that you get that sense of, of the film as you're you know playing with it. And then the other big one being that that they really get 
the likeliness in the minifig form. The minifigs probably mm. matter to me almost more than the house itself. Like I'm just, I cannot wait. That's what I have my fingers and toes crossed for that we get Coraline minifigs, right? Cause that's, it's all about yeah. that. So. <laughs> Well, hopefully, no, they, they, you have... whatever they need to do to sell it is fine with me. You know, Holly, did you know Justin was at our casting? I did know that. Because <laughs> uh, he was wearing this sweet the whole shirt. thing. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was involved. Oh. Well, I don't know. There's this guy that had this cool shirt, and I asked him about it, and he said his mom made it. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, he has a thing with his shirts. I, I love his shirts also. Um, yeah, in fact, he was, he was. Uh, her, I think it's fair to say he was harassing me on a pretty regular basis to try and <laughs> no to way. try and what to audition to to try and do the show. He wanted oh, me yeah, to do yeah. the show. Yeah. Well, yeah. Holly, have you ever considered doing a season two? No. <laughs> she knows too much i do yeah. no wait never mind that i know i know this comes up a lot when people talk about it too like being able to take that seven weeks away from like work and family like i've got yeah with my kids and like there's no way there's just you get a new lego family <laughs> yeah. a lego family and i didn't even have to Go through the hell that you guys went through. <laughs> There's nothing like 15 adults piled in a hotel room on a Friday night watching The Mandalorian. That's the only reason I would. Yeah. I, would only, I would only do it to to be able to spend time like with with my friends like this. Like that would be yeah, the only. It was a summer camp. Summer yeah. camp. It was it was like a summer camp, and it was so. Uh, I, a lot of people seem to have like they, they go, oh, it was hell, and it was this and that. Like I have such only fond memories of it. Like I. Um, maybe because I never, I never went into it thinking I'd win and I never worried about like, I never worried about certain stuff. And I just, I, and I, I have like, I live fairly much by myself. And so I didn't really miss home and people were cooking for me. People were cleaning my bathroom. People were making my bed. Yeah. People were doing all this stuff. I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand what people are missing when they want to go home. Like I am like living here and loving it. People are feeding me every single meal, making me gourmet food. And I'm like, Oh, I, I would never want to leave there. I loved it. All right. <laughs> let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. I probably would if I could, but they won't, they won't let me. <laughs> yeah. I get right. it. Well, and also like you, I, you really do have to be, um, and, and, you know, I have lots of fond memories too, but I mean, realistically, it was a stressful, like the hours in front of the camera building were stressful. And to be yeah, yeah. like, to be visual, visibly that stressed in front of cameras is even more stressful. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, the cameras are like me. I could probably do all of it. Even I don't really even like competing either. Like, I don't like the whole Lego competition mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I agree not. on that. Yeah, yeah. But, but I could even do that. I, th I think I could handle everything except the cameras. Although I have gotten better, if, as you've noticed, I've gotten yeah, better we've being got, on camera. Yeah, we've been on several streams now. You're very yeah. popular these days. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> a thing that made it more. A sorry, just a moment. Was, oh, I'm sorry. Can, can you do? You, blah, 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 blah. Richard Flynn, would you yeah. guys mind putting me in the green room for a moment? Uh, I just need to go inside for a few minutes. Okay, I'm not oh, yeah. sure how to do that, but let me. Oh, would you? That, or, I, or I can just go inside for a few minutes and my screen will be. I just don't know how to do. Oh, there we go. All right, you're in the green room. You're greened. There we go. All right. So, um, okay, so there's there's a set. Oh, and, and Perry Wang is here. Hey, Perry. Hey, Perry. Hey, Perry. Hey, Perry. Hey, Perry. Perry um, is one of my favorite people I met at Brick's Cascade. Yes, Perry, Perry, Perry is, is amazing. amazing. And um I've we, never met him before, so yeah, we hadn't either, and we were like fortunate enough to yeah. to do a collaboration with him, having never met him, and it was um it was so much fun. Like, yes. what a cool thing. So just so you guys know, Perry, so I hosted watch parties for Lego Masters every week, and Perry was there every week with me watching you guys. Oh, awesome. He's also a software developer. I'm jealous. Yeah. Can we get Perry on the stream? Do you I think we should? We should get Perry on here. I miss seeing I'm, him. I really I'm, do. I'm I'm I'm, I'm Watch parties are something I'm very, very sad that we get, had to miss because of this virus. Like, I watched four episodes with groups of people, and then six episodes by myself in my living room, like just me watching my like the show. It's like I really wanted to have that experience of seeing it with people, and and 
It was very sad. It was. You can have a rewatch party. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Oh, there's lots of questions over here. Yeah, so there there's one. Um, th so this it one, here's one. <laughs> <laughs> no, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Is your blaster compatible? Paula Applegate asks, is your blaster compatible with the Lego containers? I think like the heads, I think she's talking about the heads that have the, that you can store stuff in. Oh my gosh, that would actually be a pretty good idea. <laughs> well, so if those are based on the real model, then they Thank have, you. as long as you scale them up to the same scale, they would all fit with one another, yeah. right? That's so exciting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but you know what? I don't know. That's actually an interesting point. Yeah, I should take some of the, the designs from like the Lego Digital Designer and see, because I really do want to take like, I was actually thinking one of the monster uh, fighter cars and then scaling up that for the Technic thing. So, like, I have the actual model. Oh, and no, no. My face just got. <laughs> I love great. those monster fighter cars. They are yeah. so cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you could do a whole minifigure, couldn't you? Like, you could do the whole, like, like if, if you had all the minifigure parts, yeah. you could just blow it all up. I think they're saying, like, this is actually, or I keep my, see, it's called. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kate. oh, I want to. I want to figure out my figure like this big. You know, like my figure twice the size or ten times the size would be so cool. Well, like she said, you can print anything because you can download an LXF file for so many different yeah. um, sets and and well, objects. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a printer, so I'd have to send it out to somebody else to get printed and let them, you know, charge me or whatever. Yeah, we. But it, we don't it, it sounds cool. It's oh, hey, y'all. My mom is here. She says, uh, mom. my mom is here. Oh. She says, <laughs> wow, I'm impressed that she knows, like, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Mom comes to our stream um, because, you know, we stream every day at 10 a.m. Um, so we're always here. <laughs> yeah, she comes and hangs out. Oh, thank hangs you. Out. And now she gets to see me because I'm one of the chatty ones on their on their stream. Right? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but we Hi, so mom. we were talking about um, we were talking about um, uh, 3D printed minifigures, and I actually participate in a like Lego. Uh, sort of gift box trade on like Facebook. Secret Santa. Yeah, like a thing. Secret Santa. Oh. And I got this. Oh. Three <laughs> yes, yes. It glows in the dark. And it glows in the dark. Like the oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I was pretty oh, sick I, about that. Envious. Envious right here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's like posted anything about that. But, you know, you got the wooden one when we were there because we all signed it. Yeah. 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 But that one is like when they carved it in place because the arms don't move, right? Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, this one has really? arms that move. And the legs are wiggly. Like, you can move the legs. I haven't been able to remove the sheet part, but, um, like, his little legs move a little bit, like, about as much as they do yeah. in a real minifigure. But I love him. We can use that yeah. at, like, a studios for some giant stop motion stuff. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah. You need to be attacking the house. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if they would accept that print quality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, Amy. It has a carved quality to it. Is yes. that? Are we just seeing the polygons of the model? So, the, so what happens is the way the printer works is it heats up the filament through the nozzle. The filament is very thin. It's almost like a like a weed eater, that type of material. And it's yeah. so it's doing it's it's an additive process of manufacture. So it's literally yeah. adding it layer by layer. So that's yeah, where you see that line. Yeah, I noticed on, on yours, the resolution seems really good. It's just so there's have, other facets, and it makes me think the model had, like, fewer polygons than maybe. I mean, sometimes it depends if they, like, ripped the model out of something or the printer quality. There's also yeah attractive, I mean, like, 3D printing. So it's, like, in a vat of resin, and then it's, like, taking it out and it's curing it with like a UV light, like when you get your nails. Oh done. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you don't have that's what we have. That's what we yeah. use at work. That's, that's what I figured. That's what I was in there. I was like, okay. You guys also have the powder uh print those are expensive printers as well. Did yeah, you, I mean we, we we've used every 3D printer that's been in yeah. existence, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can imagine that. When we made toys, a lot of times we would um it, you know they come with those little ripple lines. So it feels like it's like, you know, and um 
we would sand it at the oh, and then smooth the it out. Uh, it's, it takes forever, but but this was I've been I've been using three D printers for toys like for the last like fifteen years or so, and so really back then it, a lot of it was really really ripply when you would get it printed out because the quality mm -hmm. wasn't there yet, and so we would you know it was either sand it or have a little ripple on everything, and we're like no we can't. So yeah, so you um, know Coraline Coraline was was well that was over ten years ago, and they were making that I think that was the first use of like when three D printers were really just becoming a thing, and we didn't have like color or anything. So of course we had like a whole department that was there like sanding and and uh, they would dip, yeah they would dip those pieces like in glue to you know to kind of curate them and then they had yeah. to paint them yes because it was before color yeah. printers too hey so everybody, we have a we have a guest in the green room i want to let in um there he is what's up it's How's Travis. Going? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hello. Hey, hey. It's so good to see Travis. It's good oh, to see Travis, you. Travis, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I only saw a, a little thumbnail, and I just turned up here. Nice to see you, yeah, Travis. Yeah, it had Corey's, it had nice Corey's name see on you guys it. Too. He called us earlier with his mask on, driving yeah. in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you up to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just got here. What What are you up to? Uh, nothing, man. I've just been trying to get things in order in my house and stuff like that. So I've been pretty busy with that for a while. Yeah. Um, uh, once everything's situated with that, I'm able to uh, join a lot, join you guys doing these things. I'm I'm still working too, so it's kind of hard to juggle everything. And I I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot right now, you know. You've been working with yes. kids, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, now I'm babysitting and I am doing some Lego STEM. Uh, tutorials for my job so that's between great. that how cool yeah yeah so between that babysitting and trying to get things in my house in order is just like i've had like literally virtually no time for myself isn't it crazy you'd think there'd be more time and and i don't know we've been super busy yeah i'm busier now than when i was working so <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I feel like I'm in a fishbowl and like I don't ever leave this fishbowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think the thing is like everyone's trying to stay busy too to keep your keep the mind off of what's going on out there too, you know? Yeah. 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 I definitely feel a drive to stay busy. I've just been like pouring all my energy into this live stream and uh, mm. you know, working on it and stuff. So yeah, I definitely understand that. <laughs> yeah, like, Flynn's basically doing graduate work in social media. <laughs> <laughs> and doing a bang up job, I might admit. Yeah. Oh, That's thank right. you. Nice. Thanks. It's been nice. it's been uh it's been an interesting journey. I'll just say that. Right. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. So, so as long, have... Amy and Sam, how, how you guys been? Good, tired? Good, I think. <laughs> Good, good, good. I'm good. just more per, more productive than I've been in a long time because I'm home all the time. So I literally just mm -hmm. I feel like I'm always working now, and um, which is good. But um, I'm uh, I'm not making any money, so <laughs> like yeah. uh, it would be a uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird world right now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, real quick, somebody asked if we knew um, of any Legend of Zelda sets, and I'm pretty sure there's a Breath of the Wild set on Lego Ideas right now. Ooh. Somebody can maybe check that out. Um, but I think I think it exists, and we saw one at Bricks Cascade that was beautiful. It was gorgeous. That was Cat, yeah. right? Yeah, right? Oh, that's right, our friend Cat. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so um, Paula Applegate asks Sam, um, "What are you working on today?" Um, I, it's a a woman hired me to make a port or commission me to do a portrait of her husband, who is very attractive. So I get to see her attractive husband all day. So I'm having a very, I'm having a very great time doing it. I'm like, wow, yeah, sure, he is hot. So like, um, yeah, I, it's a. And it is, this is one of the ones I actually, I'm making money on. So I, I'm just, will help me pay my rent. So that's good. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Um, yeah. She is, um, uh, Nathan, you're right. Kat, who did the, who did the, um, Legend of Zelda set is an amazing builder. Like I just sat and looked at that because it was right near us, um, right near our Ewok adventure land, like, like just down the table, not too far. Yep. Um, so that was really that. Yeah, was really uh, Beyond the Brick did a did a video on. We were just talking about this yesterday because she said she doubted that they were ever going to air it because uh, she had, <laughs> she had just uh, finished a bong lug meeting when they. Uh, yeah. That. 
So. Okay, so um, this is uh, there's here's a question that we um, that people talk about or people ask us a lot, and somebody asked it earlier, and I'm sorry that I can't find the thing to make the little question come up on the bottom, but um, I believe it was Lego Overwatch Picks asked, "What are your um, favorite Lego themes and sets?" We get this one a lot, but always interested yeah. to hear. What people's, um, I, I think I know pretty much everybody in here because I've been on enough to do an answer. I could probably name almost all of them. Maybe you but, should. Um, Maybe you should do that. No, I know. I, I want to let you shop put you on the spot. So, um, so Sam, why don't you go first? Prove it. <laughs> um, the Elves series was really, really um, beautiful to me. It changed, it changed the color system of Lego in so many ways. And um, I'm really in, in mm -hmm. love with the troll sets right now because their colors from those are just spectacular. And some of the pieces, like the Technic piece, like the little clip with a arm, you know, like the, it's just a, a, a bar with a clip on the end of it. Uh -huh. That piece has always only ever been in, available in dark gray and black. And so suddenly it's in orange in the troll sets. And I'm like, oh, wow, I love it. So um, yeah. yeah, I like those a lot. Okay, I'm all about um, color. And what's your, um, do you have a particular set that is a favorite? Sam? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, um, it's a, from the um, Galaxy Squad. Um, it is, a, I mean, like, um, just a second, I'll be back. Let somebody else answer. I'll come and show you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, uh, Travis, Travis. What, yep. what's, some, what's your favorite Lego theme? Uh, my favorite Lego theme, and I guess I guess sets would be uh, the creator sets. I think okay. Jamie, yeah, Jamie spearheads that, right? That's uh, Jamie's brand, I right? The, um, <laughs> creator, creator expert and the architecture. Okay, yeah, those kind of sets I, I really do enjoy, especially like the ship in the bottle one is like my favorite because I just I just like how it uh, just so realistic and so small scale as a Lego, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's definitely one like of my favorite yeah. yeah. Sorry, so Sam, you were showing your favorite Lego set. This this bug from the it's a crawler. Oh, we have the hive this. crawler. Yes. Um, yeah. It is one of the most amazing mechanisms in all of Lego that I've ever seen. Like when you roll it, um, it's got a wheel on the bottom that makes the legs, all six legs go up and down independently and back and forth. So it looks like it's just really crawling. And it, they tick the floor when they when you roll it. So it goes tick, 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 tick. It just looks so creepy and sounds creepy when you play with it. I'm like, it is the most magical bug they've ever made. And I like the whole line has, was just giant insects. They did a mosquito. They did a, um, like a, a I don't, I don't forget all of them, but like this, this one, I, I loved it. I had it. It was one of the few sets I had kept together since it came out. Cause I, I tear apart most of my sets. And um, then I got a, an extra copy uh, at Bricks Cascade. Cascade. And then, yeah. Since yeah. Then, and then since then I got, I got another one. So I have three of this set already and I would wow. be fine to collect more. I would just like to have like 20 of those little bugs all around, like creepy, creepy. I love it. So um, yeah, that's my favorite set besides the, besides the haunted mansion. Cause that's a be awesome set. Yeah. To motorize that. Yeah, well, you know, Sam, oh, it would, it would. Uh, we have a copy that we got with a bulk lot that some friends gave us. Um, so if we ever, if, if we should build it on on our live stream and have you on as a guest, and you can build it at the same time. We can oh, build that'd be so fun! Together. Yeah, I would love that. Would that. Be fun. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, um, it's, um, it's so it is so beautiful when it works. It really is. Yeah. So, um, Holly, how about you? What is your favorite theme and set? You guys already know. <laughs> I know, but so, know, uh, they don't know. Yeah, okay. So my favorite theme is the Monster Fighters. Um, if I had to pick a theme, unless you count the CMFs, because the collectible minifigs are kind of like, like if my house was burning and I had to had one collection that I could take with me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a beautiful CMF collection. Yeah, it's yeah. really and nicely displayed. Really too. nicely displayed. Only missing one. We all know yep. which one that is. Um, which one is it? Oh, Mr. Gold. So, uh, anyone feeling um, generous? I, that's what I'm asking for for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I don't have Mr. Gold, and I don't have the police officer that was the anniversary police officer. Oh, yeah. sure. Um, I just never found him, but I, I have the rest of them, and uh, I, but none of mine are displayed. They're just in drawers, so I, I'm jealous of a display. I don't well, have anybody space. has an extra vintage police officer out there. Let us know. Yeah, I traded one. <laughs> um, so Boone, what so about your I'm, favorite I'm, I'm not, ten sets? Fa favorite what? Favorite uh, favorite Lego theme and favorite Lego set. You know the drill. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, my favorite Lego theme. I keep changing that. Um, because there's there's like, oh man, there's like what I like the most, what I actually collect, and then like what I've had and what I want. You know what I mean? Those are all sort of <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. those are all sort of different questions. So like my favorite theme right now is ideas because i just love how crazy and and the variety of it and i just think it's a wonderful idea i think it's like i think it's a thing that captures more of what lego is supposed to be you know it's like they said how can we do more of what we're trying to be about and lego ideas was one of the ways they extended to do it you know right. um and uh um, I, I have grown really, uh, what do you say? Um, I've, I've really started to love creator expert. Um, there, at, I think when, I think when it was like a lot of modular buildings, um, like when that was sort of like the main thing of it. I, it didn't really capture me because I just have never I, like really been like a city person, like just building normal buildings that like would exist in the world has yeah. never like been my thing. It's awesome. And I love that people love it and do it. It's just not my thing, but they, I feel like creator expert in the last number of years has been doing like so many incredible, um, you know, vehicles and, and, and properties and, um, just all kinds of really cool stuff in addition to their modular buildings and some of the modular buildings are just breathtaking um it, so I, I, I really have an appreciation for them but i don't attempt to collect all the creator experts so it's not like i can say like i i that's like my passion for collecting um i'm trying to collect every batmobile every lego batmobile and every lego slave one from star wars those are like the those are the things that i actually collect um the Black Seas Barracuda was like my favorite set from childhood, probably my favorite set of all time. Um, and the new Batmobile, 1989, the big um, sort of collectible series Lego Batmobile. That's a great yes. model. It's, it's yeah, Boone, I know. Like I know. New, I was, new favorite set. I think I think I might have to build that with you. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to video chat when I when I get into that one. Cool. Yeah. You um, have it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's my. I think it's yet. well. It was going to be my next one, but then I got the Barracuda Bay, so I might yeah. have to do that one. Oh, for you. I'm so jealous. I've seen so many people go Barracuda lately. I'm like, ugh. Um, so, um, uh, Amy, we yeah. were going around and people were saying what their favorite uh, Lego theme is and what their favorite Lego set is. What is? How about you? It's a cruel question. I have to pick one. Um, I guess the, the Indiana Jones sets, I really loved those. Um, yeah. Especially since they always had like a, a tie into like Star Wars. So like uh, they always had like a tile that had C-3PO and R2-D2. Yeah. Yep. In, in the plane for like the, the temple run where the ball comes. The plane is actually called like r 2 it is. Yeah, we have that one. That was one of the first sets we ever got. Like, I bought it off some guy on Craigslist. Like, I took Bart out to, you know, like a half an hour away and then, like, stood in the parking lot. I felt really dirty. It's an awesome set. But, yeah, those are great. What other ones? Because, of course, all the, the Monster Fighters and Scooby Doo ones. And oh, yeah. yeah. The, the Ship in the Bottle. Which was also an idea. So I really love that one. Yeah, and uh, oh, our buddy piece. Jake Sadovich. Um, and if you haven't seen, you should check out his current uh, project on ideas. Oh my gosh, it's uh, amazing! Oh, is Where's amazing. he at on that right now? I want to see. It's stunning. Um, you should definitely check it out. I think you can just put. In, I think you can just literally Google um, ideas. I, Lego ideas pedal car, and it'll come up. Um, yeah, Lego Ideas pedal car in Google works. Yeah, actually, if, and, if folks want to chat for a minute, I'll try and bring it up over here on the other on another screen. Yeah, he's at fifteen hundred sixty eight supporters right now. So what is that? That's like a, a sixth, like a sixth of the way there, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. and it hasn't been up that long, right? Oh yeah, no, he still has like two years. Oh. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> um, 
it's it's amazing so i the one of the things that i love about jake is that um somehow he just keeps coming up you know he, okay can i just talk about ideas for a minute sure. um holly would have more experience but uh i have a unique perspective of being someone who's never submitted to ideas <laughs> um, the uh i i and I, these are things i've talked about with holly before i constantly feel paralyzed <laughs> by not feeling like i have an idea that's worth the effort that is required for getting an idea to ten thousand. so i'm i'm just constantly paralyzed by like i haven't had the idea yet that's worth it um and and so i don't and i haven't and um and i have you know i have the desire to like i would love to and i you know i love ideas and I've seen some of my friends, you know, do some really awesome stuff through it. Uh, but um, Jake, to me, seems like he just keeps keeps having those ideas that, oh, no, I need to step back just a little bit further. I think a crazy thing with ideas is you either need to have something that is that is incredibly beloved, yet somehow nobody has had the idea before right? right like right. how do you how do you strike that balance how do you find something how do you come yeah. up with an idea that that ten thousand people are gonna love and want to support yet it hasn't been already thought of um and i think somehow jake has done this multiple times um you know i, I don't yes. know so i and i think i think the magic behind mm. ship in a bottle was that it's it looked at first glance like something that shouldn't exist as lego right, you know yeah, like yeah. like like somebody yeah, should, yeah. shouldn't be able it's to build favorite. a ship in a bottle as lego and that's what i think was part of the magic and looking at it and wanting yeah. it to exist in the real world um well, that's part of the I, wonder of lego anyway right like, right yeah, right to make these incredibly believable things out of blocks yeah well, and, I, mean, and so I think the magic behind the pedal car is that when you at first glance it just looks like a pedal car or it looks like a toy yeah. replica of a pedal car. Yeah, and then, I wouldn't like, know. You start to dig in deeper, and you're like, "Oh yeah, that is made out of Lego." And when you push it, the pedals turn. And when you steer it, the front wheels turn. Like it's, yeah, he just high nifty I, factor. I think he's yeah. kind of a genius. But. <laughs> it's technically sound. He's not kind of a genius. He, he, I think yeah, he is a, a genius. Yeah. That's a gorgeous. Yeah, that's I a think gorgeous, is a gorgeous piece. Yes. And you guys saw his motorbike at Bricks Cascade, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so um, that's another thing. That it, the photograph on the, out in the dirt, it doesn't look like Lego. It looks like a real. Motorcycle. And and besides that, it's not only does it just look amazing, but then he always has these like functions and features in there too that you know you, you almost can't even like he would even know about it, which is kind of the best, right? When the builder takes such care that they put in details that no one else even really sees or notices. Notices, yeah, yeah. Totally. So, for those of you who I, I know, there's hoops. For those of you who aren't on our stream regularly, we do have some like segments of our show that we do, and one of the really big ones is Logan Cookie Time. People <laughs> love a guest appearance by Logan, and oh. some our friend Drew, Drew Dershel, who's on the stream today, said, said, "What about a multi puppy Cookie Time?" So, if any of you all have dogs. <laughs> And you want to call him over? <laughs> we can do a multi. Uh, we can do a, a multi puppy Logan cookie time. So we're gonna go get Logan and get some cookies. And oh yeah, I actually treat for it's treat time. I haven't been going out. I don't have any. My my, my puppy don't like cookies though. What? <laughs> well, what is um, he? Like? I, I want treats. He does. He doesn't. I I don't know what treat. I've been giving him so many different treats. He doesn't like anything. He just likes. Sausages and stuff. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, so I'll, over and I'll give the word and we'll do Logan Cookie Time. Hooray! Uh, I want, I want oh, it's so cute. Oh, wait. Oh, you're trying yeah. to give me. You know what? Like, the, the milk bones? I've been trying to give him milk bones, but he would not eat it. Yeah. So Richard <laughs> made, made like homemade yep. peanut butter dog cookies for Logan. Yeah, we haven't been shopping much, so I made dog cookies yesterday. <laughs> All right, is Skittles there? Pretty, nice. yeah, of course. Okay, okay, everybody, here we go. It's Logan Cookie Time. Hey, Logan. Uh, it's great. And it's multi puppy Logan Cookie Time. Oh, there's Skittles. It's Skittles Cookie Time. Oh, there he goes. And Dr. Oh, Dad. Here, we're going to break. <laughs> 
There we go. That was the last one. Too much. Hey, last one. Hey. Oh, well, Logan's helping He's you throw, throw, throw bricks on the floor. Good boy. Cutie pie. Nice. There you go. Well, that, that was there you go. That was a first. Our first multi puppy Logan cookie time. Oh, look at your dog. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> oh my goodness. Show, let's see him again. Oh no. Oh. Right, wrong one. Bad. All right. That's what I meant to hit. All right, let's see doggles. Not my dog. My dog is Sammy. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. No more treats, Logan. S so picky. That's awesome. Wait, well, wait, wait. He's never That's satisfied. Not good. Not good. Wait. Hey, Amy, yeah. I thought Crystal was supposed to be here. Where is she? No, oh, look. So this is Indy. Yeah, that's not Crystal. That's Indy. Oh, <laughs> Indy. Good dog. It's just a dog stream now. <laughs> yes, it's a, now it's a dog stream. <laughs> and last awesome. but certainly not least, we have... Skittles. Hi, Skittles. Hi, Skittles. Wow, this is amazingly calm. What's going on? <laughs> She's probably sleeping. <laughs> She's so mellow. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> All right. Do this. Yeah, All right. <laughs> Five minutes of fame is over, kid. That was so. That was very silly, and I loved it. That was <laughs> <laughs> next next week we'll do uh, we'll do Skittles cookie time. Skittles cookie time. <laughs> what about Skittles Skittle time? Skittles. Yeah. Can you yeah. dog? Is that safe? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't don't do that at home, kids. Uh, well, that should always happen. We'll have Skittles. Yeah. So when, when I when I left, um, we were talking we were talking a little bit about like, I I feel like we were talking about people applying for Lego Masters too. Did did y'all come up with any good? Uh, how, how did that conversation go? I, I'm sorry I missed it. Well, it's... we talked about whether Holly would be interested in doing that, and I think she was pretty clear that she would leave that to other people. Yeah. <laughs> and, we talked, and we talked about it being a lot of fun, but also it's it's a certain level of stress that is maybe not for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And and the taking taking time away. I, 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 will, I will say right now, I would probably do it if I actually thought I could take seven weeks off of work. Yeah. And not be like quarantined. And and mom, mom time and all that. So Boone, what so, are your thoughts? Well, I have I have a team up that I want to see, but okay. I hesitate to say it out loud because I'm afraid the first thing people will think is like not about the motivations I intend. <laughs> Okay. So I don't know if I should say it out loud or not, um, well, but it's but it's basically it is it is it is the one person I would have most liked to be there with if it if Mark couldn't have done it. That's and bad. it is the it is the one person who have who has caught my eye the most drastically in the last few weeks, and I want okay. to put them together. And I'm not going to say anything about else about it um, <laughs> because I don't want it to become a thing. It's not right. All right. But so I, 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 I want, now. I want, is high, man. I want Moto and Perry to team up. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh yes. Like 100%. Okay. That, that's, is, that's, that would that's, be that's, amazing. Oh my goodness. They're, they're both amazing builders. So yeah. Amazing. yeah. Yes. And Moto, so Moto builds so quickly. He I know does. That. Where's Perry? Weren't we gonna drop Perry in yeah, here? Perry was here. Well, he never said. I never saw him say yes. He would be willing to join. Send him, so. send him the link. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to. Do, I don't have his email address. Maybe oh. Boone, could you send Perry the link? Uh, we'll play yeah, the Boone game. Who can we get on the stream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we get Perry on the stream? Um, but I, I think yeah. If if there was any. If there was any person who 
you know, I've just I've just had such an incredible experience being in collaborations with Perry. He's incredibly organized. He's so um, he's so thoughtful. He's so even keeled, and he's in, he's an incredible builder. And yeah. you put all of those things together, and you just it's like it's like a it's an anything is possible kind of combination. I think and he would then, be a great um, team player too. Like right. when it came time that he could give us, you know, his thoughts on what we were doing with that sign. I just thought he was so generous with his experience and in, <laughs> in a way that wasn't like, I know and you don't, you know, I, I think he would be a great team player. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he would. There, um, there and, are and a then, lot of, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm just, I was just going to say, and then the, the, the builder that, uh, has like splashed onto my screen in the last few weeks is Moto. And he just, he blew me away with the Technic build that he was doing that night. He has been so kind to me in uh, in all of our communications he is um, amazing. That, that, that the public doesn't get to see. But yeah, uh, anyway. Julian, right? Brick builder? Uh, no, yeah, not, Julian not. Bricksmith, Bricksmith. Uh, on, the, on the Bricksmith. Uh, um, live chat which was a lot of fun yeah he's he's amazing so oh, i'm i am a hundred percent here for that combination <laughs> so, somebody said that perry was very generous with his giving and like not not saying oh i know and you don't and i feel like there's a lot of people in the lego community like that like even on the show as competitors if somebody had an idea, like, I don't know how to do that, somebody else on another team would help them out and say, oh, what if you tried this? And what if you tried that? Yeah, I know Richard yeah. did that a bunch. And like, I know I know Aaron did it a bunch. And, I, and I, it was amazing how supportive and um, collaborative, even on a competition show, the other Lego builders yeah. were. It's an amazing, like when you go to a, a, a convention and you see something amazing, you say, oh, how did you do that? They'll totally be yeah. so excited to tell you so you can learn how to do that too. It's it's um, very much a shared community of like knowledge and learning and growing together. And I love it. Well, we're big fans, right? Like we're- Exactly, we all, we all wanna like see amazing things. Yeah, I wasn't like exactly. targeting the varsity team. I just wanted to build bricks and how fun to build with other yes. people who are good at it and yeah. and, and yes. love it so much. Yeah. Not asking Lego builders to be competitive is really kind of fun, kind of a funny. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> well, the pro we don't talk much about behind the scenes. I agree. I will say the producers encouraged us to be more competitive. Of course. We we're all getting along so <laughs> well. Oh, everybody, check it out. We had a special guest. Perry, Perry, Perry. 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 So, uh, Michael Kanemoto, I just sent you a link in your Facebook chat. Oh my gosh, I'm in the stream. <laughs> It'll be an, an epic uh, meeting. <laughs> Don't do anything. Hi, Perry. <laughs> now, full full disclosure, I believe Perry has told me that he would not want to do Lego Masters. So <laughs> I'm I'm going to make that my last pressure to consider it. Um, and, and I and I and I and I won't I won't bring it I won't bring it up again. Well, I will say, Boone, you're a pretty inspiring person. You inspired a bunch of us to come to Bricks Cascade by your enthusiasm for it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And thank you, Boone, because I made a lot of great new friends. <laughs> yeah, that oh, was good. A, oh, good. I think we can all agree that Bricks Cascade was, and I know this word gets overused, but it truly was epic <laughs> like a hundred percent epic and, and we met perry hi perry. yeah and we got to meet perry so what are you working on today perry oh does he have audio do we have audio i don't know can he, maybe he can't hear us does he know he's on camera i think so he should <laughs> you are on the stream perry <laughs> maybe he's hear you. i think maybe he doesn't hear us maybe he's listening to the live oh, and, oh, and, he just, delay. and he just doesn't realize we've said hi to him yet <laughs> that was so 10 minutes ago there'll be an aha moment okay well since he probably can't hear we me can I, hear will him. Say, I will say that if perry applies i will apply for season two uh-oh <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I'm waiting for Michael to show up so we can have this epic. Michael oh, he's writing us a message. He's writing us a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, oh, he's not he's not speaking. Oh, uh, yes, apparently he's saying hello though. <laughs> Perry, Perry, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Okay, good. He didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everyone else did. Oh, we'll tell me. him later. Sure. <laughs> yes, hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. we can hear you. I can't yeah. hear you though, unfortunately. Okay. I don't know oh, what's going on. Sorry about that. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Well, oh, well, look, I'll say look. this. I, I don't need to stay that long because uh, okay. I have to go shopping. Um, thank you, Boone, so much for um, for suggesting me for the the second season. I, I thought about it a lot, and here's where it comes down to. I, I do terribly under pressure, especially trying to be creative. And then uh, uh, the second thing, though, is I think I could get on the show, but I don't think I could win the show. Like, I looked at all the uh, the talent that uh, was in this last one, and I, I'm just blown away. I, I feel like I would need another couple of years to learn to get to that level before I could actually win the show. So taking off all that time would be a pretty big investment. It would be a lot of fun, but I think I'd only want to do it if I knew I could win. Uh, that's just kind of my personality. I'm with Perry on that. Yeah. Okay, so um, sorry, real quick, Holly, I'm gonna have to no, put oh, you in no. the green room because yeah. Moto is here and we hey. need to have Moto and Perry on the same stream, but hold up because we'll Except have- Except Perry's not gonna be able to hear anybody. I know, but at least they're to, at least they'll be together on screen, Brady Bunch style, it out. and we can, you know, I think that'll be awesome. So, okay, uh, Moto, here he is. Whoa, Hi guys. Right next to each other. How's it going? Yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you all can hear me. <laughs> we can hear working. you. All right, we can, we hear, can you. hear you. Hi. Oh Mike. well, Hi. it's good yeah. to see Perry, even though he won't be able to hear me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Boone, I owe you an email. I found someone that you actually know about two weeks ago, and it's not Perry. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but I will, I will email you the person's name, and you can uh, secretly, privately, maybe uh, give us some advice or whatever you guys need to do. Okay, But awesome. Perry, I hear you loud and clear. If you're not ready to go, you know, <laughs> don't do it. And if you want to win and you don't think you're ready, that's good for you. I mean, everybody has to make their own decision. Um, just listening to the stream, I was like, oh, this is, this has come a little early. <laughs> I didn't want to say that I had another teammate already lined up, but here we oh, are. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's That's all right. Okay. Well, hey, so here, why don't we, we'll dodge and <laughs> Moto, why don't we'll you, us, why don't you show us your amazing, uh, thing that we're all so in love with in the background? Can you, yeah. can you oh. show it? Yeah, if you guys don't mind, I, I, yeah, oh, I don't mind. No, I never, I could look at this thing all day. Amy, if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to love this. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Sam, good to see you again. Boone, good to see you again. Amy, for good the first you. time. It's oh. so good to finally meet another Lego master. And, uh, yeah, I'll turn the camera around, okay? Okay. And I'll put you, um, I'll give I'm you actually, the... Well, while he's turning the camera around, <clears throat> I want to say that people keep saying, oh, I don't want to go unless I can win. That is... That's not the uh, that's not the spirit. That's not the um, um, you don't know what you can do until you push yourself because I went in there thinking there's no way I'm gonna win, and we got further than I ever thought we would. Um Absolutely. you push yourself yeah. to do something that is amazingly beyond what you could have done on your own because there is that pressure. And I, I think you'll never be ready in your mind. It's like one of those things like you um like, like being a parent, you always say, oh, I'm not ready yet. I, I don't know what, if I'm, what I'm doing. You don't have the training. You don't I don't have enough money. I don't, you just got to do it and you'll learn it as you go. And so I think there's no reason mm -hmm. to hold back, to go, go, go. Well, there, there are uncommon circumstances that are really geared towards helping you to excel, right? Yeah. Yes. If, and learning as you go, like the, the Brickmasters are there to teach you and to guide you and to help you get better. And we all grew as builders there, even if we already thought we were really good. We all grew. Um, it's... I, I think it's like parenting. Just go for it. Just do it. Oh, my goodness. And so now I have to say hello to Holly for the first time. It's so hello, good. Moto. Okay, guys. So I'm going to bring up um, I'm going to bring up Moto's screen so that we yes. can all look at this amazing thing um, close up because I am so in love with this. Yeah, I will try to go slow and steady because my Wi-Fi is down right now. So I'm on the cellular network. So it's going to be a bit grainy and choppy and we all know that so i'll just stand next to it so you guys get an idea of kind of what's going on um and how big it is oh it's ridiculous yeah. wow. Look how big that is. 
So what I did is I made a Technic structure using rings, which is kind of unusual. I've never seen someone do that before. And then I bought all of these um, discontinued uh, windscreens and made an egg out of it. And then I've got Technic arms and bracing to kind of float it off of the base. And this is the first third of a large spaceship um, that collapsed last third, year. Third, of course, it's just the first third. <laughs> it's the first third. I've got the other section over there, and if there's time, I will grab it and pull it over. But um, I did want to say that it, it, you know, this this is a Technic structure. It can, you know, it can still swoosh. You can do all the stuff that you want to do. Whoa, ah, then, that's incredible. Oh so my look, look at that. It's, what? I I know that's crazy. Right, look, so, yeah. Somebody asked, "How do you do laundry, Moto?" Yeah, I was just gonna, I was just gonna <laughs> well, put that up there. How so here's how I do laundry. laundry. I'm working on the base right now. I ran out of elements, but uh, yeah, I've got this base or a, a rocket stand for it that I'm putting together. Um, so that goes. I can sits on top of that. <clears throat> yeah. What will happen eventually is if I turn this sideways, um, the ring. I'm gonna use my foot now. The ring at the bottom. Yeah, and the midsection here would sit here and here sideways because, you know, it's 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 approaching eight feet or longer. And I'm afraid that young children wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so I want to turn it sideways and display it that way. Well, that's and, very yeah. thoughtful thinking of your audience. That's great. Well, it wow. just came from and... one show where I had it up, and you know, parents are doing dangerous things like starting to put their kids on their necks, and I don't want to have that happen. No, oh, sure. Let me pull the other. I'm going to pull the other section here. Well, turning it sideways fights gravity, too. That's well, that's why I'm building it so strong. Is I know that. Um, oh, I just hit the ceiling with this thing. Whoops. Um, Thank you, Josh Zender. I love it. Thank you. Um, so you can imagine this piece going somewhere in here. And then this is the main body. And then there's four engines, which would be the last chunk I have to solve for. Whoa. But, it gets so oh, narrow. Amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. You can see it's definitely still swooshable. Does all the things you'd expect. Swooshable. To do. It's like as big as a person. It is swooshable. I love it. It's, <laughs> oh. it almost needs guy wires. What? That's it's so it's so amazing. Thank it's you. Really and then though. and today, um, I'm going hands free here. Watch out. So the big thing is it's a technic structure. If I look, pan down the right side, you can see all the technic elements in there. Um, one thing I like to do, though, I'm breathing hard from listening. Whew, um, <laughs> I like to uh, surface everything out and smooth and it and snot it. Uh. Yeah, and greeble it. So I've got clip and bar uh, components lifting these panels off so that the panels would give a smooth skin. But I didn't want to lose and cover up all of the structure underneath because I think people have really gotten enamored with the look of that. Yeah. Um, but using slopes and kind of studying them into the Technic to give that classic, uh, thank you, Sadie, <laughs> um, that vibe. And then, of course, I'm trying to uh, push myself a little bit further by using weird components. Like I've got a bicycle frame in there. I've got a friend's uh, motor scooter shell here. I've got um, a restart track uh, frame. And then down here, you know, the, the structural element there. Oh, and vintage parts too. I love this little, I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, God. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be on the hunt for four of those. Um, That's so awesome. Little electronic beepers, yeah. So yeah, awesome. so it's about having fun being playful with Lego, being imaginative. And um, and someone knows that I put a Technic uh, shock absorber in there. It's just for looks. It doesn't do anything. I think he just deserves oh, yeah. a round of applause from everyone. Um, well, thank you. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. a labor of love. <laughs> and someday when all of this is over, hopefully uh, there will be a convention and people will be able to see this thing in person. Wow. Well, yeah. I just feel like I should never make anything again. Yeah. No, no. Come on. That's it's, that's supposed, that's what I wanna know. it's supposed to it's supposed to encourage, not not uh not not keep you from building. No, well, so I'm sorry, Amy, what was your question? How are you gonna travel with that? That's what we need to know. Well you saw him pick it up, my goodness. Yeah, that's, so um the, the first time the first time I traveled with this, I made a gigantic um wooden plywood box. Okay. And then um 
you know, supported it internally uh, so that it wouldn't shake it to the base. Uh, the base kind of got jammed into a machine, into a, you know, a large uh, shipment vehicle. But yeah, I built a large, uh, just containers. large wooden f shipping containers, basically. Yeah, wooden shipping containers. Yeah. Well, I just love with big mocks when they've got this crazy awesome silhouette, but when you come in close, there's all these beautiful details, like it rewards close inspection. Oh, yeah, I try, I'm trying. I don't know how much will be done and when, but I expect this is going to take um, at least another year or two. And there's no interior yet. I still have plans for an interior, and, you know, that's just so far <laughs> off the horizon, I don't even think about it. Oh, so Drew Dershel says, um, Drew. once the engines are complete, you can just fly. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, hey, if there's an engineer out there, uh, calculate how many D-class, SD-class motors it would take to actually fly this off the ground. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem is like when you would have a heat temperature because it's made from ABS plastic in the motor. Oh, I know. Yeah. A K-class motor would get it up, but oh, you know, there'd be nothing left. It'd be Amy, all melted. Don't attempt to cloud the issue with facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of your gear, I know everyone's seen uh, the There you go. The physics thing. Oh, oh wait, wait, let me get line. you up on, wait, let me get you up on the main. Oh, it's so here. beautiful. Those are so beautiful. Oh, I've, I've, that's I've, amazing. What? Oh, no. Okay. I keep uh -oh. doing the wrong thing. Sorry. There we go. So I don't have all the pieces, though. I need, like, that's what I'm, like, trying to figure out. But I've seen everyone posting about it. Um, that's so cool. And, of course, I love your colors. They're so amazing. I'm trying to figure out, oh. what, well, I mean, what substitute pieces I can use is, like, kind of the the How's yours coming along, Boone? So um, when I started this stream, I had two strings, and I was gonna—I wanted to use these long strings, and so I was trying to find a third so that I could just double the third one over for the short string. Um, and and so I started the stream with two strings, and I was looking for a third, and now somehow I'm down to one string. So that's <laughs> that's, that's all I'm doing. Wrong, um, wrong direction. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm so um, close. I need like I, two I, new pieces. Man, you know what? I almost want to like reach over, grab my string, and just kind of be like, "Boom! Here you go, man. Just pick it up." Yeah. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? Mark and I actually do that, like as a little little uh, uh, Instagram trick, but. <laughs> It, you actually have to have the same pieces on both sides. We should yeah. do that. With <laughs> you have that, and then you pass it off to the next person. <laughs> like, everyone has to add the one string, so then I would take it and throw it, and then everyone else makes a video. We should do that, Boone. Okay, let's do it. I well, everybody I pick a piece. I yeah, I just yeah we got to pick a common piece. What's a common piece? I just don't understand. I just don't understand how. Oh, I wrapped it around a, a snot brick. I was like, uh, okay, because Paula thought maybe you should check your beard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Here we have several <laughs> lengths of string here. No, is it all chains or is it um or is it string too? So uh, originally we saw someone just use like regular string, not even like the. It wasn't even Lego oh, string. It was just like this yeah. line. Yeah, just yeah, and then I saw other people make them with the chains, but yeah, using what I have. Wow, wow, that's so cool. Okay, so I have to throw this to Perry. <laughs> well, I have to get a, I have to get a chain. I gotta uh, get a chain I too. Think, I think I know where they are. One. So okay, oh. yeah, Glenn and Richard, you could drop it to me. I'll throw it to Perry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. I pretend to like this, and then we, I throw it to Perry. Okay. Wow! So special you, FX. So you have a, a trans green one? Yes, perfect. Okay. I have those somewhere. Dang it! Where are those? Yeah, where are they? Uh, I think my bag is somewhere too, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love that this is a thing we're doing. This is making me laugh. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Right. Oh. Okay, we're waiting for, for Moto. Okay, so we're going to start by passing the chain down to Amy. Okay, help me, Glenn. Help me pass it down to Amy. This is so dumb. This is awesome. <laughs> Not on her head. Chain lever. Oh, here, here, sorry. Here, here we go. 
Shane Levin says the stream is off the <laughs> chain now. <laughs> but, I but, knew but it, Shane. Funny, I knew but, it. Thank you, man. But the, but the funny part is, he says, sorry, Moto isn't in the chat to type puns. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shane. All right, are we starting this again? Wait, wait. Sam's trying to find a screen. Oh, he's trying. Okay. We're, so that was a practice I, 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 run, everyone. Because this is the way things are run. Well, you know, we kind of said we were modeling our stream after Pee Wee's Playhouse, so this sort of works. <laughs> I don't know where strings are. I can't find them. I don't know where the chains are. Oh, my um, goodness. Can I use a different piece? You heard it here where... first, folks. No, Sam, where the out. chains are. Go without me. So Sam, take mine, Sam. Take mine, Sam. Wait, this way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so I'm going to hand it to your left, Amy. I think Perry can, Perry, can you hear us now? You yes. okay, man? Thank you. Good. Yes. Oh, hi, Perry. I'm glad hi, Moto. Talk. How are you? Hi, Perry. I'm here, man, just like you. All right. Awesome. <laughs> so we're doing trans neon green? Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. So uh, right. let's go to me, and then I'm going to Perry, and then Perry, who's going to go to? To Moto. Perry goes to me. I think and then go I'm to going to go up to, okay, we'll yeah, go up to Boone. Okay. <laughs> I don't have one. Oh, no. Get anything. Oh. Anything. Right, well, okay, we'll okay. Gold. I've got gold. Hold on. Perfect. Gold. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a magic trick, too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Yep. Wait there. The Here it goes. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, oh look, there it goes. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I changed color though. This is all I had. All right, so Wait. Moto, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my orange one and trans a bunch of other orange random one. Trans neon orange. Hold on. And and give gray. Me a this... Gotta Sorry. hurry. I'm about to throw it. Okay. Okay. Go. I'm gonna catch it. Okay. You ready? Get a right, here go. Oh, oh, wrong wind. Got it. Oh, 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 wait. Whoa, wait. it connected wait. in the middle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. What? What? He's trying to pull it back. He's trying to pull it back. It's still going. <laughs> now it's gold. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh no, it's gold. Oh, very there nice. Wait. All right, here you go. Get it, man, get it. <laughs> yeah, the it's Take like it. the claw. It's like the claw machine. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it, but I only, I, I only got the gold one. Wait. Oh, it broke off. Oh, it broke oh. off. I only got the gold <laughs> one. That was good, Moto. Oh man, what? What oh, happened? Oh, I lost God. Sam. Oh, look at oh, no. the rest of it. Oh Sam, my God. ready? Sam, I'm just, it. Sam, just, catch, just Sam, just catch it in your beard. Okay, ready? Catch it in your beard. One, two, okay. three. Ah. Yay! <laughs> it, it, it turned the little gold pieces. Yay! <laughs> it's like, oh. It turned the little gold pieces. What? <laughs> Good job, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank you for entertaining me. That was hilarious. Look at that Lego magic right there. Oh, man. Uh, you know incredible. what? Hey, um, Tricky Bricks, I, I really, I really, I really think that, I think that bit was the missing link of your uh, <laughs> live stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Holly would know something well, about. And Holly would know. Uh, Holly would know if we brought her back. Yeah, Holly could tell us if it was. Oh man, that See was how much fun we had. Double, double pun and a callback. I like it. Comedy gold out here. Yeah, <laughs> that was ridiculous, and I I'm so excited that just happened. Like I want to just take that section out and just post it as yes, a, make that a little clip. should download <laughs> it, cut it back, edit it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have Mr. Uh, I'm gonna have chains now on my neck. There we go, <laughs> Mr. T. Represent, represent. Each of this could we could be like you're pulling in the middle, like back and forth. Oh wait. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are, this is getting out of, that was ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's see, Amy. Oh, man. Uh, I got to get in here. Oh, so and, uh... Uh... <laughs> okay, so we're going to go. Come on, let it go. Wait, wait. Ready? Wait, wait. It's... <laughs> what? Oh, it's a rubber band. I see, there we go. <laughs> wait, we're terrible. <laughs> 
You know, CG is so convincing. I know, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Nice job, Amy. High five. High five, Amy. There we go. Very nice. (laughs) Oh, man. Great great job. That was that was beautiful. Um, so I just wanted to say to um, I just wanted to thank everybody. Uh, we're not finishing or anything, but I just wanted to thank everybody for coming today and checking out our live stream and putting up with our ridiculous shenanigans. <laughs> um, but that was pretty amazing, I gotta say. Oh, man, I haven't laughed like that in a while. That was that was great. Okay, so I have a question. Yes, is it is it too early for me to start robbing parts from Pirates Bay? Oh. No. No. Well, okay. I think. Do I remember often, that you only have one Lego model inside your house? Uh, yeah. In inside the house, there's only one Lego model on display. So it's not like you would be not displaying something you'd be displaying otherwise, right? Or would you display it in your studio? Sign anything? No. It, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Pirates Bay because it it um. It's really big and I absolutely love it, but I don't really have room to display it. So I don't I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we have it's, room it, to display it for you. It's not it's not that um, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. All I did was all I did was um take a string from Pirate's Bay so that I can keep working on my tension table, but yeah. um, uh, well that's you're all right with a string. It's Lego, you can put it back. But, we've, we've been yeah. stupid. that's a slippery slope. I, we've been stupid. I took apart Apocalypse Bird yesterday. What's that? I took a I took apart Apocalypse Bird yesterday and mixed all the pieces in with my other stuff. And people are like, oh, "What? That's a big set." I'm like, "I don't have any room to display that stuff. It's been yeah. sitting on the floor since I came back from Lego Masters." I'm like, "I just took apart. I kept just the head of the Statue of Liberty. I put her next to my brick heads Statue oh, of Liberty, cool. so it's just this big giant head next to it. But that's it. I'm like, I don't I don't have room for that stuff. I don't keep sets together. So um, it's one of the reasons I've been buying less sets." Unless there's something magical in it, like the troll sets where there's pieces and colors, and I'm like, I want those. Yeah. I want them so bad. <laughs> right. Can oh I build goodness. my well, Can I build my tension table out of Technic? Like that's fine, right? Sure. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Now, what's your position on Technic? Like, I like to use it for functions and then cover it up with system bricks. <laughs> you asking me? Yeah. What? Oh, what's I, your? I don't have any strong feelings about it. I will often is is. Is Perry getting attacked by a? What was that? <laughs> Look like one of those spinning dinosaurs. Yeah, what are those called? Dilophosaurus. Oh, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, we have really, we've really gone off the rails. Here. <laughs> you know, you know what I love is that all this bounces off space age satellites for us to be able to do this. Space <laughs> age satellites. Space, space age satellites. <laughs> That's a that new. Space. Oh my goodness! That's hey, a new thing. To, um, to see some, let's see, Kristen Dilts is here. Stud City is is here. Hey, hey Naomi. Naomi. Uh, just some some new people, and I wanted to thank um, I wanted to thank uh, Dave Morgan for being our um, uh, what do you call moderator. it moderator today. Thank you. I know. Thanks, Dave. Um, we appreciate you volunteering to do that. And uh, oh, and Ainsley Howard is here. This is this is cool. My first live. Oh well, welcome, welcome. And if you want to see more live from us, um, we do live stream every day uh, on here on YouTube at 10 a.m. every day. We've been doing it every day for 22 or 23 days now. Yep. And um, it looks like, I mean, yeah. I'm going to check our poll, but it looks like the set we're going to start building tomorrow is the um, pop-up party bus, the Lego Movie yep. 2 pop-up party bus. So, Hey, Flynn, I um, wanted to mention a brilliant Oh, builder. I want that set. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Brilliant builder who's given us so much advice and helped us out so much um, with programming on Treasure of the Snake Queen asks, um, this is Zonker Harris asks Boone, what is a tension table? Oh, it's it's uh, t- it's technically called tensegrity sculpture. Um, yeah. I'll put a I'll put a link. I'll put well, here, a link. I can bring it up. Where do I where can I Google it? 
Well, then I'll I'll give it to you. Uh, just do uh, do JK Brickworks. This is a really nice looking one. JK Brickworks, Tensegrity, T E N S E G R I T Y. Yeah. Oh, Although don't don't play his don't play his YouTube video because then yeah. your YouTube video could be flagged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, uh, we don't have the yeah we won't do that. I'll give everybody a little entertainment show since we've talked about this happening before. What's that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Jumping the shark. We have oh, absolutely oh. done that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so here is um i think here's a picture of it yes. i'll bring up the, i'll try to bring up the, the building guide so that way we're not showing any of his video but uh it's gonna take a minute but yeah this thing is really cool it's like the it's like the latest internet rage that lego internet rage uh, that's yep. going on um so I'm going to bring, let me see if I can bring that up. Can we do that? Can we show there? We absolutely can. Watch this. I'm going to watch this internet magic. Internet magic. It's happening here. And there we go. So this is the, and so this really works. I can't show the video, but. Y'all, this is crazy. This is JK yeah. Brickworks yep. take on this design. And it really, it really works and floats in the air and it's kind of a little nuts. But this is yeah. um if you go to jkbrickworks.com, um, they have it up there and you can uh check it, you can check it out on there. And all the instructions, it's amazing. Have any yeah, of you yeah. built it? The, we haven't built it yet. No, yeah, I think we're building. going to. Just Amy got the closest. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm building my own. I'm working on building my own right now. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. Uh, yeah, and apparently you can also put a minifig on it as well. Like it will balance yep, even if on you the, have a minifig on, the, on it. On the one side, not the other side. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love to see that working. A mini doll. I'm missing it's beautiful. So we're trying to figure out like what you can do for substitute. Then we were talking about, like he said, he didn't have a small chain. He saw people were using. <laughs> All right, you two boys. <laughs> are we gonna have to put someone's video in the middle? <laughs> Moda's touching me. Moda, Moda's touch. He first. He joined Moda's first. touching me. Joined All right. first. I, will, I will put you in timeout, both of you. I'm just saying. <laughs> so we oh, made a huge mess. No, no. Oh, naughty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Busted. We made a mess here today while we've been talking. We, we're, we're not putting anything away. Yeah, we've taken apart the Friends Superhero. No, the Superhero Girl Superhero High School, which is a great set, but we just don't have room anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so our as a result of building sets every single day, our collection is getting bigger, but our organization isn't necessarily getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so David Parley says, I'm so happy to see all of you. Thanks for joining Flynn and Richard's stream. What fun. Yes, I agree. Thank you, everybody, Thank you, for joining today. We so appreciate it, and I know our viewers appreciate it. Get a chance to see, and you know, we love getting to hang out with last, everybody. We get yeah. to hang out on a Sunday morning. Yeah, if Holly's still there, you can flip um, me out for her. She'll be more behaved. Oh my goodness. Okay, actually, I am going to bring Holly back. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yep. So I'll see see y'all. Bye, Moto. Bye, Moto. Bye, Bye, Moto. Bye, Moto. Thank, Bye, Moto. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I'll thanks still be for listening in. Yeah. your awesome work. Everybody, go check him out on the Facebooks. All right, let's go. Um, and I'll see it. Um, can I answer a question real fast? Sure. Like yeah. Joshua Steele asked me what 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 he, Joshua Steele asked what toy company I work for. Right now, I don't work directly for any toy company. I'm doing a little bit of consulting, but that's it. Um, I gave up the toy industry uh, two and a half years ago because I was a little over the the that industry. So yeah, that's it. Now you make Lego toys. I worked for Marvel Comics for years. Yeah, I mean, I, I play, Lego. Lego is the one toy I still actually really support and think is an amazing thing because it's not just a toy; it's a learning tool. It is a engineering um, educational tool. It is an imagination. It is anything you want it to be. Um, mm -hmm. w when I was making toys, I feel like they were making plastic stuff that, like, if you bought a, a 
Disney princess doll. And then two years later, your kid doesn't like Disney princess anymore. It goes in the garbage. It's just it's making garbage. It ends up in a landfill. Lego is not that. If you buy a Disney princess castle for someone and they don't like Disney princess two years later, you could take mm -hmm. it apart. You could build a spaceship. You could build a dream house. You could build anything else out of it. It is mm -hmm. never garbage. Um, and yeah. the pieces that I have from when I was four years old are still good now. So yeah. um, I, I'm really kind of anti the toy industry right now in my life, in my I've, I've, I've learned too much about how the world works and how toys are made and how clothing is made and how things are made. So um, I'm very much like just Lego and that's it. Yeah, Sam, I really love that. I heard you say it for the first time yesterday during the BrickCon virtual and it just blew my mind. I hadn't thought of it that way, especially with old toys that are broken. When they're broken, they are yeah, totally useless. Those parts are totally useless. They end up and in that. They're not recyclable. Yeah. 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 They end up in a they landfill end up in somewhere. Your, your and it's bulk so that you buy from parents buying Lego, right? In like a garage sale worth of Lego. You find broken transformer yeah. parts and broken Star Wars <laughs> parts. Exactly. And there's nothing you can do with them. You have to throw them out. Yeah. Although my, oh, my, son exactly. my, my son manages to incorporate a lot of those bits and broken parts into his Lego builds, which is oh, kind of nice. interesting. That's because yeah. he's your son oh, cool. and he's creative because you are creative. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's way Le Lego is not a- I never imagine, yeah. So- uh, Lego, Lego's not a toy, it is parts of a toy. You build the toy yourself and you build it and you can build it into anything else. So it's not a toy itself, it is a building block. It is a it's piece it's, it's a of system, whatever you want it to be. It's interlocking, Something <laughs> system. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I real quick, this is a question for uh Amy Boone and Sam, and I guess uh, Richard and myself was from iHack Football. What was all of your favorite moments during filming the show? Not necessarily just the challenges. Um Sam, you want to start off? Um favorite moments. Like like my favorite moments were always the awe, like like um, in the first episode, you see me walk over to Boone and Mark's table and just go like this, like, shut up, what, <laughs> shut up. Like it was being in awe of other builders stuff, like just being in awe in inspiration, like just feeling so inspired. And it was, it was magical. I mean, uh, in the cut in half challenge, when I walked over and I saw Aaron and Christian's uh, helmet and the way that all the things moved and how polished it was i was just like what is that it's so <laughs> yeah. beautiful like yeah. um um that's that those made me so happy and all the the love that we felt like when somebody would be voted off the, like the un you couldn't help but cry and that was that made me so happy that we really loved each other and cared about each other so much that we like um that we were a family and that was Amazing. So yeah, I don't think the, people those are my parts. Like, sorry, how, real quick, Amy. Sorry, or Amy, real quick. But we'll continue on with this question. But Perry, I'm going to put you in the green room because we got Manny here. Oh, perfect. Like we'll see Manny you guys. Be able to chime in on this. Bye, Perry. Thanks, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye, Perry. Bye. You're awesome. You're my favorite. And we got Manny here. Yay, Manny. Yay. Hey, hey Manny. You guys. How's you doing? What are you doing? Hey. How's everyone? Good, uh, good. How are you doing? Right out here. Amy, how are you? Good. I haven't seen you forever. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, he'll come back, I'm sure. So, he'll be back in a minute. Uh, but so why don't we continue with that question? Amy, what was you, what was one of your favorite moments during filming the show? Besides having everyone sort our bricks for us? That <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's part of it. Um, what about you, doing? The moments off camera too were always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Boone, what about you? What was your favorite parts of doing the show? Well, my yeah, my my favorite parts of doing the show were definitely like hanging out with y'all <laughs> off off the clock. Yeah, um, the, but uh, not very much. <laughs> we were there. Most yeah, time. yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I really liked just having meals with y'all and watching Mandalorian and and um, milkshakes when we got. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that 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 shake place yeah. was awesome. We also yeah. Yeah. you're basically naming all the exact same things I I would name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were really just yeah those nights having milkshakes and hamburgers and those um, nights uh, 
Oh, one of my very favorite moments was during the um, the Mega City build. Um, we had a night where we were all. Um, they I was about to say this. I was about. To... Yeah, they turned the cameras on, and we were all there. I mean, they turned the cameras off, and we were all there, and still on the clock, still on, still the, on clock, the clock, but no but cameras. Off camera. Yeah. And we were just all so exhausted. We'd been there all day. And then we just kind of all started singing at our tables. And then we were like singing all the same songs together. And then um, that was the night that we sang uh, Parting Glass uh, together for the first time. So that was that was one that I really, I really miss. Yeah, that I agree. That was really fun. One of the best nights ever. But, no, yeah. I I would echo <laughs> all those. But I also had this general feeling of getting a chance to make art next to all of these people who are like firing on all cylinders, like really just like doing something that they love. Like just the hours where we weren't even necessarily doing check-ins. We were just running back and forth to the brick pit and building. I just felt so yep. fortunate to be building alongside all of you talented people. That was an experience I've never had before. It was really moving. Oh, me, nobody, none of us, none of us. So Manny, um, Manny, we had a question. We've been going around. And um, so, what was your favorite? What was your favorite moment during filming the show? Not necessarily just the challenges. Like, what was your favorite part of the of the of the thing of the thing the thing <laughs> the show? Uh, favorite part of the show for me, um, I guess yeah, doing it with my dad, uh, meeting new people. Um, favorite part of the show, uh, meeting uh the judges, uh Jamie and Amy. That was amazing um meeting you guys uh, uh being able to uh build and and um share this experience with with all you was amazing gaining a new uh family and and yeah relationship with you guys i mean um as a lego uh, fanatic but i couldn't ask for more um uh, yeah absolutely i agree that i i think that was something that I don't know if I would say that it surprised me so much as it, um, well, maybe it did. It surprised me. It pleasantly surprised me um, just how I feel like we were already family on the first day. Like, cause we were all just, I just remember that yeah. first day showing up. Most of us had had about two hours of sleep and <laughs> on that first day we were all just kind of in a daze. And um, it, I just, you know, it felt like we had already like, okay, here we're in this for the long haul. It was really, um, it was pretty cool. Well, we I, have, I have a question yeah. for you guys. What? I have a question. Knowing what you know now, would you do it? Would you do it again, all of you? Um, I oh, would, and sure. actually, actually, uh, real quick, um, Holly, at, now that you've asked your questions, I'm a question. I'm going to put you in the green room because Mark is here. Um, thank, thank, thank you, thank you, Mark. Holly. We'll be, we'll be back. Um, and Mark is here. Hey, hey Mark. What's going on, Mark. Hey. See how long this lasts because usually my audio cuts out. What's like, going on, Mark? Well, so Mark, on, everybody. For, Sorry. For Whoa, what it's worth, Amy, Mark, you look. Damn. What's going on, you guys? Mark, you you look way clearer than you usually do. Yeah, it looks really good. So, yeah. So maybe um. Got my phone down. So, um, so uh, Mark, we just all answered a question about what was um, one of your favorite moments during filming the show that wasn't necessarily having to do with the challenges. Like, what did you? What's a moment or some moments that you really enjoyed? Oh, there was so many. Pretty much any time, like during the weekend, like going to the Lego store or Target. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Buying more Lego. Like Lego Star was really fun. Yeah, that we're like out and having dinner after the long day of filming. Yeah, um, yeah. Milk oh, shakes. I actually have one that didn't really like this didn't really involve everybody, but um one uh, there was a time where uh Kara and Jesse and Richard and I went to the movies together and we went and saw Duck Sleep at the mall. And I got to tell you that watching Kara watch the movie was almost more fun than watching the movie. <laughs> it was a really good movie though. I really enjoyed that movie. Oh, yeah. I did too. I did too. But it was a it was very funny. I I um that made me laugh. That's a moment. Like the just one of those little moments in time. 
you know, that you remember. Well, cool. Well, great. And I'm so yeah. glad we're able to join in. I realized how much time we all spent together as well. So, because I know some people were asking, they're like, why are people always crying when people go home? I'm like, because we've just spent like 24 seven with these people for weeks. Yeah. 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 yeah it was, well, it was like summer yeah. camp 24 yeah, seven together always. And the first team didn't go home for two weeks. So it's been two weeks of summer camp and saying, yeah. okay, your friend is going home now. Bye. And it's like, what? Well, well, no, I don't want them to go home. So it was intense. Well, plus even without going into yeah. details of the casting process, there was a lot. Right? Yeah. So we had all had this experience of making it there in the first place before we even ever met. Right. Totally. And I think we already had, so, that. we'd already been through similar experiences all together and then like coming together. And yeah, I think that, um, and we, it's funny because we do get that question a lot. Do you still keep up with the other Lego masters? And obviously, yes, we do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> But like what a that's to me that's just um I I love doing the show and I really just honestly for me I I didn't go into it like thinking of it as a competition I just went into it thinking like what an incredible adventure that I get to have with my husband of almost 10 years like a thing that we share that I was, <laughs> I I was a lot happy of people for in the world have done. I was I was so happy at final casting. I mean, yeah, I met you guys. You we we were what? Um you were in front of us. Yeah, yeah I mean, even at final casting, me and my dad were like, Oh my god, I can't believe we're here. This is so incredible, you know. We didn't even think, you know, two weeks after that we were gonna get called for, you know, Lego Masters. I mean even the final casting, even, um, yeah, that first experience, that was just amazing for me, you know? Yeah. Well, they yeah, certainly totally. took their time letting us know <laughs> to say that, man. We yeah. were on, I'm sure you all had the same experience, like, in that between time where they were, and they just kept saying, one more, just, just one more thing, just one more thing. <laughs> and then and then it was like, yeah. oh, you know, nothing, yeah. for like a week. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, that was intense. But um, um, besides outside the show, I mean, going to like the Hollywood Strip, you know, doing that um, was amazing. Uh, sharing that experience again with my dad. Yeah, we did that bad, too. You know. Yeah. yeah. I heard a rumor Crystal is coming. She texted me, but now I haven't heard back from her. I said, "Where are you?" I know, poker, poker again. I was like, she usually always. I feel like she, she, I don't cook, so she always like she, cooks for me. Like so on set, she would always make me like in between like peanut butter and banana and honey sandwiches. Yes. Like, do I wow. need new food? Oh, I love honey on peanut butter. I love it. So oh, fun. and here's okay. So here's a moment that I remember, I, and this is funny. We're just like memory lane stuff, but so we had um, times where we weren't allowed to talk to each other. And ice. That was hard. Lots of times. Yeah, hard. it was very difficult, and especially when, um, you know, we've mentioned the stress that we would be under, and if it got really, really stressful, it was easy during those times to be, be like, that's when you can let the emotions out, right? Because you're holding it all in while you're on camera because you don't want to like lose your mind, and then you come off stage and you're just like, ah, and it all comes out, and and it was very difficult during those moments when. Uh, you were feeling emotional or somebody else was feeling emotional and you couldn't talk to each other. So really you could only like, you know, there were lots of hugs and, you know, meaningful looks. And one <laughs> of my favorite was um, one time I was really, really upset in the back room and Amy came over with a paper plate with jelly beans in the shape of a heart and just and like it it me. <laughs> and I and it, um, and it made me it made me so happy. That was just um That's because yeah. we were rating the jelly beans like they were gone right away. They kept refilling them. Well, they refilled them once because I asked. And then after that, I didn't ask anymore. But yeah, they had them. They're, those were really popular. I remember like the first couple of weeks. It's just like they went, I see, first couple of days, they were gone. There were. <laughs> I, I remember I remember this moment where um, like just looking like the, it was this moment where we couldn't talk. And, fl and you and I just like stared into each other's eyes for like a few moments and I could just tell 
you know, that you were like having a really hard time, but nobody could say anything. And it was just like this moment of like, okay, we're all going to like, we're going to make it through this. Yeah. And, uh, and any, anyway, I don't know if you remember that, but yeah, it, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. These intense I, moments. Can, one of the things you just said though, Richard, like you said, like, um, and that's why I, I, Okay. Mark said he's going to head out because he, he, he can't hear him. Oh, okay. Well, come on. Come on back, Mark. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Mark. Come on back. We do. We, we're going to trade. Bye, Mark. I love you. Bye, Mark. We're gonna trade for everybody. Get ready. Big drum roll. Crystal is here. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> Hey guys, can you hear me? Oh, Logan is here. Yeah, we can, yeah, hear, we can you. hear you. Perfect, perfect. Logan, Logan next got excited because he heard us saying hi. I just got your text, Amy. I know. Hi, Crystal. I was like, Crystal, where are you? It's supposed to be here. So, fun fact, I was cuddling Stanley because it's raining here, and I was watching Alice in Wonderland, and the little white rabbit was like, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. And I was like, oh, God, me too. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so I was, I was, I was just saying that, um, because Richard said, oh, you know, we're all in this emotional state, and we're, you know, we go back and we're, um, we're feeling these high tension from, and not, and trying to, like, you know, not go crazy on camera, and I, I got a lot of flack for not holding back and not for being human on camera. For I was one of the few people that was just like trying not to trying not to hold back. I was just trying to be myself and trying to live real life and not think about the cameras and just be in the moment of being there. And I got a lot of flack for that online because a lot of people hated me because I was human. And so it was um it was a very difficult, weird experience for me after the show for a little while because of that. Well Sam, you also in that whole thing about putting your cards on on the table, people saw you as a three-dimensional person, right? I, I feel like over the course of the season we saw a lot of different sides of you. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I think so, you know, too. I of, think that people, of all of us, you know, right? later. Yeah, right. yeah, totally. So, um, you know, so the fact that you were being honest meant that people could also see a 3D person who was having an experience. Yeah, a real person. And, and like, it was, it's, it was, it was intense for all of us. We, we all had moments where we were just like, oh, I can't take this anymore. Where, I would, where you just wanted to scream and cry and go home. Like, you just didn't want to be there anymore. And, but then, you know, you have to, you had to push through it and had to, had to find the strength to go on. And it was, it was incredible. <laughs> yeah. Crystal, where are you? In space. <laughs> it looks magical. Place. Yeah. It does look, look magical. Yeah, I'm in my playroom. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at that. Um, here we go. I it's see very messy. Supplies. Very messy. But look, I won the Yeah, but the lights are distracting. Trophy. Oh, you put that together. <laughs> yeah. I win. Oh, I win. No spoilers. <laughs> and then I got the little robot that Jessica made. But yeah, this is this is my toy room. It's normally cleaner, but uh that's not. I love the lighting. And that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so I am gonna I love Amy um, called her out. No. Nope. Yeah. And sorry, I look like hell in a handbasket. I haven't washed my makeup off from last night, and me I just I, yeah, I'm me either. Sleeping um, on the couch. <laughs> so I think this is a good one. Um, so uh, Wilfred says Lego Masters is a family show, but did you have some not PG slash emotional moments? Now I don't think you can say the words, perhaps, but I don't know what y'all are thinking about. But I'm thinking about that particular time. I think it was the Mega City Build Challenge, and we were all lined up, and Christian was tr kept trying to like pull Will's attention at a certain point. Will, like, I mean, in a joking way, like, went off with a map. The I couldn't believe I was. We were all sitting there with our mouths hanging open. He like let fly with a like, like, this whole thing. It was so hilarious. Ben's it really got, did break the tension, though. Ben's got some stories too that are definitely. He said he will always remember, but can never share. Yeah, yeah I, I will. Yeah. I will share them. I, you know, I I I think I will share them 
face to face with people, yeah. but I don't, feel like, yeah, exactly. I don't feel like I can share them um, over the interwebs. Yeah, indeed. indeed. Well, I also, I think it's fair to say that Will has a really, is a very witty guy. And not everything he says can be on television. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Agreed. That's an understatement. Um, so you know, there were there were a lot of inappropriate jokes. A lot of inappropriate jokes. I so real quickly, it. I would like to um, just while we've while everybody's here and stuff, can we go around and can you uh, can everybody let people know uh, where they can find you on the interwebs, like what you're doing, um, and then I will be posting links to everybody's uh, uh, stuff in the. Um, description of the video after it goes up. So why don't we start with you, Sam? How can people find you? Um, SamuelHatmaker.com, Samuel Hatmaker on Instagram. Just Samuel Hatmaker. There's, no, there's nobody else with my name, so it'll pop up. <laughs> yeah, you, you're right on. How about you, Amy? Mine's under A-M-I-E-D-D. -D. And then I have a page, and from there you can find GitHub, Instagram, Twitter. I don't have a Facebook, so... <laughs> Right. Yes, you are a non, you are yeah. a non a non Facebook person, which I, I totally not. respect. But you post a lot of really interesting things on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I post the tech stuff on Twitter. Twitter is my. And Mark Crookshank says you can get him at M E Crookshank. It's in the the chat there. If you want to get that, you can see him on Instagram. Crystal, how about you? Um, Crystal Star Wars. My name is spelled so weird. K R Y S T L E S T A R R. And then W A R S, and you can kind of find me. Just just Google it, and I will come up. <laughs> but you're on, but so, but you're on Instagram, and you're also doing a lot of stuff on Twitch, right? Like you, I see yeah. you yeah. pop so, up on streams all the time. Yeah, I have decided to move my home to Twitch. Um, so I am Instagram and Twitch. I don't really get back to people on Facebook or um, Twitter. But Instagram, Twitch, and um, my Patreon are kind of where I am living right now. Sure, so. right on. Totally, totally understood. Um, let's Manny. see, Manny. What about you? Where can we? Where can people find you on the interwebs? Uh, Facebook. You can find me at Emmanuel Garcia. Uh, Instagram. Um, you can follow my creations, Lego creations at Viva underscore Lego. My personal one is Viva underscore Manolo, and you could follow me on YouTube at GIP Bricks. Get into building bricks, and that's about it. Awesome. All right, on. And Boone, yeah. as if you needed to tell anyone, I think everyone knows how to find you, but why don't you tell us uh, how to find you? All right, you can find me and uh, my my Technic. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, ten, you what, did what, what it. Is that's it Let's take a look at that. Ten, Hang on. Ten, integrity, ten, ten integrity, ten integrity. Yay! It looks so cute. Nice. So, that is sweet. awesome. It looks so good. Um. Anyway, uh, Boone builds. Yep. Uh, b basically, uh, YouTube.com slash Boone builds, Facebook.com slash Boone builds. Um, Insta Boone, 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 build, Boone, Boone builds on Instagram. And on Boone. On Twitter, I'm Boone Langston, and I didn't used to push that one, but it has really become a lot of fun in the last few days. Uh, so, Boone Langston on Twitter. Oh, right on! Uh, awesome. And uh, and all since Mark's not here, I'll plug his again. I know you just did, Flynn. Yeah, yeah, please. M e m e c r u i c k s h a n k. I should make it a m e c r u i c k s h a n k at Instagram. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, cool. People on Twitter were trying to get Boone to sing the jingle for their for their like YouTube channels. I was like, Boone, I'm volunteering you as tribute. Oh, people. Yeah, want yeah. People on our channel want <laughs> Boone to sing the Logan Cookie Time uh, theme song. They're like really into it. They ask every time. How does it? How does it go? It doesn't. Well, I mean, right it, now we just, just have some. Little punk riff, we just have a little really. punk riff. It's um. It's so it could be anything. It's not really official, but we can talk about that. Awesome. Sounds good. <laughs> um. But that would be. I think that would be super fun. And, and so. Um. And let's let's, let's, let's let's talk about that when the kids aren't around. Okay. And then we um. Uh, so <laughs> we are Tricky Bricks on Instagram. 
We are Tricky Bricks here on uh, YouTube, as you obviously know, because you're here. But it would be awesome if you'd hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to us. That would be it super helps cool. us. Because so many people subscribed, we get to have polls. Yeah, now. now we can do the polls and stuff. So that's a lot of fun. Um, you can also find us on Twitter, uh, Tricky Bricks. And I think we're other places, too. And we'll be starting a Patreon very soon. Yep. Um, I also wanted to give out a, a, a shout out. I don't know if he's still here. Uh, but Kevin Hinkle was in the stream earlier, and I wanted to thank him for our awesome. Oh, uh, I love Kevin Hinkle. That you can see up in the corner, and that were there for the thumbnail for this show. Um, he did an amazing job. So thanks, Kevin, if you're still here. Thanks, Kevin. He's doing a lot of awesome stuff thanks, for a lot. Of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like the official artist of um, of Lego Masters. <laughs> exactly, <of> Lego Masters. <laughs> But yeah, he's been, uh, it, I have to say it's really nice to see Crystal. I haven't seen her in so long. I know. Oh, I want to show everybody. I have my. I get to see Crystal every day because <laughs> I never get to see her. I get to see her every day because every time I pick up my phone, I have my Crystal, my Crystal sticker. <laughs> nice. The Simpson Star Wars one. Right? Oh, <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys are are are. are are we reaching near the end or are you going to keep going for a while? Oh, we'll keep going for a little bit. Oh yeah. I, here's another one I'm, from our, from our refrigerator. Yeah. There's oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my hair was green. So back so cool. my hair was green and we got to set like the first day and then they changed my hair to blue. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. You guys, thank you so bye, much. Bye. I got I'm going to go have bye. lunch with my, with Danny and the girls. So oh, thank you. Okay, thank bye. you so bye. much. Thank bye. you, Flynn and Richard, for having us. Bye, Manny. Absolutely. Bye, Amy. You, boo. I miss bye, you, Crystal. Bye, hey, Amy, let's connect because I want to figure out how to turn uh, yes. those things into those other things. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Oh, right. Bye, Sam. <laughs> See you later. I, bye. I, I, I want some of those too. So, uh, <laughs> okay, bye. so let's bring um, let's bring Holly back because I know that Crystal and Amy want to see Holly. So let's get her back in here. Thank you. Thank you. So Hi, I know Crystal. we talked about this before, yeah. but we, um, Amy and Crystal and myself and Richard and a couple of other friends got to go on a tour of Leica Studios all because of Holly. Um, she got us over there and we had such an amazing time. We got to sit on Paranorman's bed and I cried. And <laughs> Um, yeah, we just got to see all the little models and the little armatures. Oh, amazing technology and art there. I, like the the sets and lighting were crazy. I think the thing that impressed me the most of, I mean, and there was a lot to be impressed by, was the fact that y'all like print all your own fabric. Like yeah. the fabric that you use and it has to have like scale, extra tiny prints on it because of the scale of the models. But the fact that you don't just go, you know buy off the rack as it were, like um, fabric, the fact that you guys do all your own. And then I remember, um, don't you also, I remember hearing that y'all have like a, basically like a texture library that is only for this one particular film and then you never repeat those again. Is that true? Exactly, yeah, there's a different look for each film. So each film has its own uh, kind of color guide and style guide and textured library that everybody uses across the studio. Yeah, what was so great about having you guys there, like we had a whole crew that that I got to, to, to bring by. And I feel like, especially the people that are here that were able to go, it's like everybody has kind of their their own sort of specialty or expertise that I feel like you guys had the special appreciation for the various different mm -hmm. things that were going on there. Yeah. So, that, it was true. really cool to like experience that enthusiasm from you guys when you were there. Yeah. So like, I will say I, I, the artistic side of like all of that is like, okay, but I don't quite understand it. But when I got in there and I saw that you guys have a machine shop and a metal shop and you are literally like, you, you know, engineering all of these components and these pieces for the legs and the, like how everything moves. That's what I was like, whoa. I mean, <laughs> And I know like, they were laughing, but like it is like it is impressive on another scale and it makes you appreciate like how much goes into it. I mean, they even had like linear actuators for this like robotic movement. So I guess Link looks like when he's like shaking in the car, like that wasn't just like a person just like moving it. Like it was this full on 
I don't know. It was very impressive. Yeah, same thing with the tassels that were in the stagecoach because it's not just the characters that they have to animate, they have to animate everything that's moving in every shot. So he's sitting in the stagecoach and it's all bumpy and these tassels are you know, in the shot that are swinging. And so they had to kind of rig something so that all the tassels swing frame by frame as the characters are being oh, animated. Wow. All wow. And it's really complex. And there's always like, I've had several uh, people from the Lego community in as guests to tour. And there's always a special appreciation from Lego people because you already kind of appreciate like miniatures and meticulous building and <laughs> imagination. So of course everybody sort of has some appreciation for it, but you guys were like next level. You were like in there like studying things. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, hopefully we're not embarrassing y'all. No, I thought it was wonderful. It, yeah. And also Holly, since you do a lot of the stuff digital, that's what I do. I do a lot of like, everything digital as far as like physics simulation. So I know what goes into like recreating the physics of a fabric. So the fact that they're like one, they're recreating it to make it look like it's digital, but it's not digital. It's like this. It's, yeah. And then it has to go one step further because we're not just recreating something that's physical. We're recreating something that's physical, that's very stylized and has to be like rigged. So when we're making cloth, we have to make the cloth in a way, like even digitally when we're recreating cloth, we have to keep in mind how a puppet fabricator would make that cloth. <laughs> wow, that's so, that's pretty meta. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well and then we met we met one of the fellows that works on the, um, the armatures at the convention and we talked with him for a little while and he was telling us, um, oh, I think it was the guy at the convention, but he was telling us how um, the armatures have to be like tightened or loosened. Like each artist who, who animates a particular character likes to have their different, their, tension. Their different tension in their pieces. Yeah. So either some people like it to be fluid, somebody, some people like it to be a little more stiff. And I found that fascinating. Mm -hmm. Everybody's particular about everything. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like that would be cool. and it shows. Yeah. It's like it's as much as we're we have our own way of doing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, as much as we're like hacking things together from like odd bits and pieces, it's like people also kind of like even fabricate their own tools. So it goes pretty deep. <laughs> yeah. I feel like maybe one thing that would make Lego designers or Lego builders uh, appreciate what you do so much is that um, we deal with so many small intricate parts and there's such technology required to make this illusion and we have to pay attention to the artistry at the same time as as you know not being hobbled by that technology. I, I could see a lot of crossover and the patience involved too, right? Yeah, that was my whole pitch with the with the Coraline project, why I thought Coraline would, would appeal so much to Lego builders because there is a lot of crossover. I mean, Lego people and Leica people are, you know, problem solvers and storytellers. So yep. of course, right? Yeah. And speaking of creative, it looks like Crystal is working on some dot bracelets right now. Is that what's happening? That is totally what's happening. Finally. <laughs> I am, I've got three different ones. I've got a beautiful piece that I made last night on Twitch, which I am so proud of. I love oh, it. Oh, I love it. Colorful. Wait, Crystal, look what I did with mine. Wait, 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 can you see? Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you guys so have, have figured out. Have figured I've been having a really fun time with these, honestly. Like the dots are such a really cool piece to bring out. And I'm sending my cousins a whole big basket of Lego dots, late Easter basket. Oh, that's so oh, great. Nice. So yay. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Pearl, the pearl dots in the Lego right. are gorgeous. Oh, those pearl yeah. dots are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They're very impressive. I think I've lost half of them on the floor to stand. Yeah, they, well, they pop off more easily than the tiles. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at your phone. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I was wondering if you guys had done anything neat, like, you know, found something new or different to do with the bands. Did you see my belt, Holly, that I made? No, I haven't seen I, it. I wanted to make a belt out of it. That's what I wanted to do. I, I made haven't got enough pieces yeah. yet to do that. I did like the double layer for the suspenders and then I did, it's actually perfect. Like I did LEDs that fit like in between them. So I made like this little oh, like, fun. like a, oh, they cool. fit perfect in between. But yeah. I should, 
Do the LEDs also, come out of the holes in the bracelets? Um, so I use two of the bands. So they fit perfect in between like two of the layers of the bands. And you can put... Um, let's see if I have the other one. I have so many. Where are they? They're on my... Is it? Is it? I was looking for the one the one. Oh, um, yeah. is there anybody in the waiting room right now? Uh, uh let me let me look. Sorry, I was trying to distract it for a moment. We uh were looking at another dot bracelet. No, nobody's in the you. green room, but you are more than welcome oh, to I mean like this is just a drop in and out. So if you have I, to go. I have not had any food today, so I'm going okay. to go hey, eat lunch. Food. And, um, eat food. Uh, but um, thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure seeing all of you. I, I love you, Holly. I it's so amazing to see Crystal. I haven't seen her in so long. Um, I love you, Manny. I love you, Amy. Um, I love you, Richard and Flynn. So thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah. And I hope right, to see yeah. all of you again soon. And I and I can't wait to hug all of you. So like, I know. Yeah, bye. 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 All right. Thanks. Bye, Sam. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, get some food. I'll see you. So Holly, like. Kind of, oh, see, but in between, so like you can attach, um, which is kind of nice. Like this in between the belts, and then the space in between is perfect for like LED. Ooh, sci-fi. Yeah. That's just LED tape. Um, they're addressable Neo Pixel strips. So like I use. Oh, a, got it. Like just a microcontroller to control it, and then I use all the little heart pieces like this to attach it on the back to hold the battery pack. Oh, oh, oh cool. wow. So, and they all, and it clutch, it, it holds clutch. Everything holds together. Okay. Yeah. I will say this is like, yeah, that's the only, um, flimsy part. Yeah. It's not like exactly flimsy, but if it's not like when I was making it for the belt, if it's not like tight enough, then it falls down. So you want it kind of tight and also mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know. It's that's like the only part that's kind of got work. it. Well, I thought you'd be working on those the second you got them. Yeah, in. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah I already did. It was uh, it was that one was fun. <laughs> it would be. I I know it would be expensive, but it would be fun to do a woven fabric with dots bracelets. Ooh. Oh, that would be cool. You know, just like like a plaid almost. Very nice. They're, I mean, they're only, they're like $5, right? So. Yeah, I think that dots are really priced really reasonably like, yeah. for all the tiles you get that you can't get other places. Which is a good thing because yeah. my son keeps stealing all the pieces. I know. I, I just want to, and they don't have them out yet. You can buy the pearl ones. I want more. There it is. Hey, yeah. so we were talking about, um, we were talking about like things that you can do with the dots bracelets. And um, I, you guys probably remember um, Blair Archer from Bricks Cascade. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was amazing, Manny. That was just, that was like magic. Yeah, sorry. No, that's okay. Um, so if you all re you remember Blair Archer from uh, Bricks Cascade, he does amazing stuff. And I wanted to show you his... Um, his take on the dots bracelet. Yeah, his, his Instagram has been like filled with them. Yeah. Yeah. So he did this Mtron uh, themed so, bracelet, which is just so cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's really, you know, he's a great builder and a great artist. He's yeah, his, in, his Instagram, if you want to put it out there somewhere, is um, Lego underscore stud. Yes, that's true. That's true. Let me see. Yeah, if I got, I uh, that guy. Yeah, he's got a bunch on there. Yeah, yeah. Lego underscore stud on Instagram. I don't know if it's his real name. Make a wearable. Yeah, he was amazing. His his wearable costume that he had for Briggs Cascade was incredible. Well, didn't Amy or Crystal, didn't you help him with his lighting? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's – He's he's actually really nice. He gave us a bunch of um, like Lego jewelry for helping him out with his light stuff too. Um, I don't have it on the table right now in front of me, but he also gave us like um, the little the little handouts that you give to people. What do you call them? Like the tradable oh, the babies. Yeah, he made little baby aliens that matched his costume. I was like, bro. Oh yeah, we have ours around here somewhere. I was just playing with yeah. it yesterday. Well, what? Are <laughs> 
Well, he gave Amy and I some uh, Lego jewelry also because him and his wife are starting a um, like an Etsy account that's going to have a bunch of Lego jewelry and other stuff. And I was like, dude, yes, you are. You are you are a fun man. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to have to commission. Uh, you guys might have seen his. Um, he was kind of known for a while there for his alien build. He had this just epic. Yes. Build. Oh, my God. It's epic. It's I've so been meaning. Cool. I, I tried to, he, he, he tried to do like a crowdfunding thing for something with that, um, which I was supporting. But I keep meaning to reach out to him to have him uh, either give us some instructions or ideas or build something for my son. Cause my son's kind of obsessed with all that yeah. scary, creepy stuff. Cool. And well, at the time he was particularly upset, even though he'd never seen aliens, he was just obsessed with it. Oh <laughs> yeah. I was the same way. I was the same way. Yeah. I, I hadn't seen it, but I heard everybody talking about it and I wanted to see it so bad, but I was too little. Exactly. I remember yeah. just being completely enamored by the images and stuff. But uh, yeah, but, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Vincent is basically just a little Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, watch out! I am. I'm worried. <laughs> no, I love. I love his name too. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. So, Amy, is it okay for me to share the link that you sent me? I wanted to just show people the page. It's uh, just like a tech write up of how I use the dots, and like I've got the programming stuff on there. If like people want to make their own. Or make the version I made better, hopefully. So here is um, here is the project, and Amy, you're looking very glamorous, I must say, of course. in your photo. I'm very Avril Lavigne '90s hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if you are interested in seeing how she put that together, she's got a whole uh, whole thing here. Down to like, there's like tech stuff for the like. Yeah, can you scroll down? You see the belt. And then this is I'm putting I'm putting the link in the chat right now. Uh, it's down there at the bottom of the chat if you want to check out the um the rest the rest of it. So she shows you um like the things oh. you used in the project, what kind of tools. There's a video and a how to. So definitely um definitely check that out. Super cool. Um, I'm not sure yeah. I can pull it off like Amy though. <laughs> like, just sing the Avril Lavigne song and just go. <laughs> I even found the little Lego like goth fit, mini fig, the one that yes. just says it's like it's me, and it's like got the little teddy bear in the tear. <laughs> I love her. I love the spooky girl. Um, yeah. That was one, it's one of my favorite mini figs, and the spooky boy too, of course, because he's got That's that dreary cool. look on his face. He's like sort of sad. <laughs> That's okay. So there's a there's a question that I we get a lot, and I'll ask um, uh, for everybody who's in the chat that always wants to know this stuff. Um, what is your favorite minifigure? Oh, mine changes every time I get asked that. No, I, yeah, mine's always the same, but I mean, you saw mine. Well, mine was the same as yours. I think that's why it changes. <laughs> oh, I say no. You know, it's a, that's it's fair to uh, yeah. to like the same ones. Amy, what do you think? What's your favorite mini fig? There was one from the last series, and it was like this cyberpunk bounty hunter that I really like, and it had like the little shoulders, and it had the little trans book that said it was the bounty. Um, I don't know. That one's been like one of my favorites for a while. I've like taken pieces and parts off that. Well, now, is it, um, isn't there a, um, in the latest ones, like in the new, wasn't there like a video game player guy who has the video game that that character is from? They're like related. They came out in different, in different, um, in different themes. I'm not sure. But yeah, something like that. There's some sort of relation between them. Um, yeah, the robot one too that crystal like that's probably my other favorite one. oh there it is the robot yeah, yeah the wind up robot one is pretty amazing because the back has the little like that's probably my other one. Has the little crystal i'm gonna put you up um in the main screen to show everybody your cute glitter art <laughs> oh nice i can't see the mini fig up yeah oh there you go yeah, Sorry, I don't know if any of you are watching what we do in the shadows, but there was a whole thing about yes! art in it the other night, and I <laughs> thought I of you, it. and I laughed so hard. That show is hilarious. If you need something funny to watch, like that stuff is amazing. So, Manny, what about you? What's your favorite minifig? Uh, I would have to say, um, 
the brick man, the one that's like a brick, uh, a brick. Oh, like he's wearing a oh, little brick. Yeah. yeah, I think those are real cool. I think the crayon one is real neat. Um, the giraffe, um, yeah. the watermelon, the pizza guy. I mean, they're all cool. Um, yeah. Oh, those are the, the ones that I really, the ones that I really, really fancy are the nineties uh, Aquanauts. Uh, I have like a dozen of them. Um, oh yeah. Really, yeah. I think yeah, those I are love, I love the ones. Yeah, the those are just amazing. Okay, you know what my favorite is? What's that? I'm gonna go a different direction now. Okay. My, my new favorite is the soon to be Coraline figure. Yeah, oh! uh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Get into the world. <laughs> well, and I love that we got to get a picture with her on the bridge from Bricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's um, my sick fig. I, it's so funny because when I when I did my first uh, Lego convention, so my well, I had been to I had been to like Bricks Cascade, I think every year as just a participant, but had never um, exhibited anything. And so uh, when I submitted the the Coraline House to Ideas, that was kind of me like really jumping into the deep end of the A fall world. So right. it was my first convention, like participating and it was the first time doing a lot of things and going to other conventions 2018 was just wild right yeah, but yeah. Uh, so when i so when i exhibited there i didn't really know anybody um because i never really participated in the, with like in any of the events so I, I only knew like a few people online nobody had any idea who i was i didn't know anybody um so i didn't know about sick figs and when they kind of got, you know, there was all the talk about sick figs and then they had to do the big sick fig photo. I was like, I don't, I don't have a sick fig. And I was kind of scrambling. <laughs> so I just took the Coraline from my house because that was the most significant thing I had. Right. Um, and ever since, ever since I've just kind of kept using the court. Like I never really even bothered making a proper sick fig because that's just kind of my. <laughs> Your go-to. You know? Yeah. So we have a f we have a few here. Richard picked two, and I picked two. So this is um, uh, goodness. I gotta move this over. Uh, also, I see my friend oh. Mitch Greedy is in the chat. Hi, Mitch. I talked Mitch into doing the the great ball contraption. Oh, oh cool. cool. Yeah, we've been to try that. Yes. Okay, so here's ours. So we, um, my very favorite one is Medusa. I knew you were gonna yep. say that. Yeah. I mean, Which just mine. <laughs> of course. And she's got the two-sided head and the snake body. And then you show yours and I'll okay. show my last one. So I like this Minotaur. He's a CMF, right? Yeah. Yep. Is he gonna focus? No. no. Sorry, he won't focus. Right about and there. <laughs> I also love this old vintage Severus Snape who glows in the dark. <laughs> you love that. That is cool. Oh, and uh, sorry, and Mitch uh, Mitch says he's hardcore into GBC <laughs> now, so there you go. Uh, Mitch has a backpack 3D printer. And, oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I will. Right, so I have one last favorite minifig, and it's actually not a legit, it's not a legit uh, logo. It's from Citizen Brick, because they do all kinds of ones, but um, I got the divine mini thing oh. from <laughs> and i'm nice. more so i have a total like i love uh, connection so yeah i had to get that uh that divine mini figure is too cool how do you, how do you display all your mini figs we uh, have a little like we have a little box that we display yeah. some of the more special ones in and the rest it's of like, them we store yeah our box um, is like hinged and it has maybe six shelves in it yeah Okay, let me see if I can. So I started because, like, I call them like my dust collectors. So I don't know if you can kind of see, but like. Oh, cool! Oh, wow! So, like, wow! Yeah, we have a similar time. Time. Yeah. And then, of course, there's like more, and then my wall. Nice. Awesome! Your wall is beautiful. That's I want to do that in here. Right. Nice. Yeah, they, that, so, yeah, uh, yeah, Holly. Yeah, I've got a bunch of those those yeah. panels. Um, I, they're not they're not Lego brand. I forget where I got them. It was some kind of uh, fundraiser thing where I got a big old box full of big face plates that have some um, semi permanent like tacky stuff on the back that you can do that with, where you can put those. Oh, up. cool! I find some wall space where I can put those up. Nice. Yeah, we need wall space. We have so much art that's not up 
Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of sad. The walls are filled. Like I'm missing my 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 Disney World Haunted Mansion poster hasn't been up in a little while. It used to hang on the wall behind <laughs> us, which is now Lego storage, and it's a big. It's like a huge. It's like the same size as the posters you see in the park. So oh, yeah, I have a similar thing, Amy, to the to yours yeah, with the. Uh, Oh yeah, those are great. Yours are super fancy. <laughs> those came from um, those came from Wicked Brick though. Those cases. Okay. Um, and then I got kind of mad at them because they discontinued at like series sixteen or seventeen. They discontinued that line um, of CMF cases, and they used to be really cool because they didn't have the series number like etched into it and everything. And yeah. they were they were the perfect size for those cabinets that I have. They discontinued them, and then, like a year later, they finally started producing them again. But then they they changed the design, they changed the size, they don't fit in there anymore. Uh, a lot of mistakes, basically. So, because I noticed that, like some of the newer, like for the series, like the pizza guy, like you know, he doesn't fit. You have to have a stud on either side to like. Exactly. To oh yeah, like a little wide. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys remember Kelly? Um, he was the guy that made those um little wooden uh. Yeah, the laser cut guys that you guys all got. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we have one. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I've actually reached out to Kelly, and I think I'm gonna have Kelly try and make some cases for me. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. good idea. With the, guys, yep. with the Deathly Hallows. With the Deathly Hallows on it. So right. I just have to. What I'm gonna do is kind of trace out what I have and just take my micrometer to it and just give him the exact, um, like, to scale plans for it and just see if he can like make something else that works in there. I, I love that you said micrometer and not ruler. <laughs> it's micrometer, it's a different thing. It's got a little clamp and you have, yeah, it's not a ruler. Yeah, in my, in my funny, drawings. So I call them calipers. It's a micrometer. <laughs> in my drawings, Goodness. I always have to re reset different tolerances because I include rulers on the drawings and it can only have so much information, but I want them to be like 0. 0.003 accurate, right? Yeah. Whatever. That's what you need a micrometer for. Yep. Yeah. So, so um, okay. actually, it is. We've gone now 40 minutes. So we've been here two hours and 40 minutes. I think we're gonna probably wrap it up. Yes. But well, I thank to, you guys. Yeah, I want to thank everybody on. for coming today. Amy, Crystal, Manny, Holly, Mark, and Boone, Travis, and Corey. Like, what a fun um, little open house we got yeah. to we got to have today. Yeah, Travis and Corey at different times, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was um that was really that was really great. So thank you all so much for joining. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I've, I've never met Manny. So hi, Manny. I hope we get to meet sometime. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Holly. Likewise. Likewise. So I'm going to just pop us up here as the main picture for this last couple of minutes. Uh, but thank you, everybody, so much for joining thank us you. today. Bye, Love guys. you all. Bye, you guys. Can't wait to Enjoy see your you. Enjoy your Monday. Stay safe. Stay safe. Tell right. your yes. hi, Penny. Tell Nestor we said hi. I will. I will. I always do. He says hi, everyone. Yeah, hi. tell you that. Hi. He all misses right, you guys. So, yeah, we all miss you. But yeah, it's this is all awesome linking up with you guys. And yeah, we should do this more often. So we well, yeah. we have plans on starting to do something like this once a week, we're thinking about. So there'll be plenty of Sounds time good. for us to all get together and do this. Yeah. All right, come back and Bye, hang guys. out. Yeah, Bye. thanks everyone. Uh, Bye, you guys. Okay, so that was uh, what an amazing stream. Like How really super long that? and super exciting and I want to thank everybody so much for for joining us today on our special live stream. It looks like tomorrow we'll be here at 10 a.m. We'll be kicking off with the pop up party bus. Yep. And before we go, I just wanted to say, please um, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Instagram at Tricky Bricks. And you can also uh, reach us multiple other ways. If you look down in the description of this video, right. you will be able to see our PO box, our Venmo, our Instagram, our Further Facebook, down. all of it's down there. And I will be doing the, um, we'll be, I'll be posting all the information on links on how to reach everybody who is on uh, the stream today. All those super fun people we hung out with today. Yeah. So um, thanks for everyone who hung out with us uh, and commented in. Like, yeah. Um, we really what a fun day. We really appreciate it. It was a great day. So everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay, stay safe, safe, stay healthy. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. And we will see you next time. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Bye everyone. Bye.